A very good afternoon to all. I extend a warm welcome to all the dignitaries, resource persons, teachers, and students participated in this one-day webinar on advances in chemical sciences for better future. Organized by Department of Chemistry and IQSE, Digambarabindu Arts, Commerce and Science College Bhokar on the occasion of celebration of Azadika Amrut Mahatsu. We are fortunate to have with, with us eminent personalities and academics. I welcome the inaugurator of this webinar, Honorable Dr. Madhara Patil Kinarkar, former Minister of Maharashtra State and the President of our institution. I also welcome the Chief Guest of the Inaugural Function, Dr. A.T. Sindesar. I also welcome our respectable principal and chief organizer of this webinar, Dr. Punjab Chavan, sir. I also welcome and greet all the resource person who have contributed to our initiative. Dr. Mahendra Lokhande, sir, Department of Chemistry, Avayar Government College of Women, Karaikal Pondicherry. Dr. Balaji Siddharam Selukar, Department of Chemistry, Anantrao Power College of Engineering and Research, Pune. Dr. Rajeshri Markandewar, Department of Chemistry, Rashtrapita Mahatma Gandhi, ACS College, Sauli, District Chandrapur. Without taking much time, I move on to the you know, uh, uh, I request uh, the convener of this webinar, Dr. G.D. Kotapalle, sir, to please introduce the webinar. Dr. Kotapalle, sir. Thank you, Taki, sir. I am audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Speak. Very good afternoon to everybody. I welcome all the dignitaries, teachers, and students participate, participants joined to this one-day national level webinar on advances in chemical sciences for better future, organized by the Department of Chemistry and IQAC, Digambar Rao Bindu Arts, Commerce, and Science College Bhokar on the occasion of Azadika Amrit Motsu. As the country is celebrating the glorious 75 years of progressive India. Our institution has conducted several student-oriented activities to join the call by our Prime Minister for celebrating Azadika Amrit Motsu. Our Department of Chemistry is contributing to the vision and mission of the Institute to impart quality education Several alumni of our, our department are making a mark in academic research institute as well as in industries. We have organized this webinar to help students to explore various innovative concepts in chemistry for enhancing their knowledge, skills, and research aptitude. It will help students to develop their skills for advancement in career, the students will play an important role in achieving the vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat. We are thankful to the president of our institute and inaugurator of today's webinar, Honorable Dr. Madhra Patil Kinarkar Sahib, former minister of Maharashtra state and also our beloved principal, Dr. Punjab Chavan sir, for their constant encouragement and my mentor, Dr. A.T. Shinde sir, for his constant support and guidance. 
we have eminent personalities as a resource person for this webinar we are thankful to them for responding to our call and joining us with their novel ideas and expertise in chemistry and its application for a better future also i am happy to say that for this webinar there are 275 registrations i am thankful to all my teachers and my colleagues i congratulate all the students faculties and research students who have registered for this webinar i wish all the success to the webinar and conclude my introduction thanks one and all thank you sir now it's time to formally inaugurate the webinar may i request the inaugurator of this webinar honorable dr madhava patil kinarkar sahib to kindly inaugurate this webinar and guide us on this occasion at the outset uh, i wish wish you all to welcome for the one day e webinar on the advances in chemical sciences for the better future organized by the department of our chemistry department and the iqac nigamara bindu arts commerce and science college mokar on the occasion of the 75th azadi ka amrit mahotsav the appeal which was been made by the honorable prime minister to celebrate in a, our 75th independence year as we are celebrating we all in a very innovative way so that the importance of the azadi what does it exactly means should be understood and should be celebrated in a that perception perception and that's why in response to the appeal made by the our honorable beloved by prime minister the, our college has taken the initiative to arrange lot many uh, uh, educational programs in a period like uh, corona we all are facing as we all know that uh, our education higher education primary as well as the secondary education has been hampered for last two years because of this pandemic situation even uh, our fight against the corona throughout the world is yet not been over now gradually the things are been opening up all the institutions and that we in a due course of time it is definitely going to open up but the for last two years the education although the colleges were been shut down but the education has to be start, has to be continued in one way or the other and that's why science and technology has a created a great help to the we all students as well as the institution uh, and the institution which are imparting the education to the community by way of arranging this e webinars and using the internet services which has been already been provided by throughout the india and uh, we are using that at technology in a way in a better way now for last two years our college has taken a lot of many initiative in arranging such type of the programs or the e webinars or the lecture series and uh, and so many uh, innovative things which has been done throughout the all the departments from our college likewise uh, just before um, i think uh, two days or three days before also we have from the from from our science faculty we have started the uh, in mathematics uh, the series of the lectures which is going to be arranged or they have they have been continued till the 7th of february of this month similarly our department of the chemistry and the iqac has de decided to have a one day international e webinar in advances in the chemical science for the better future 2022 so this was the objective which has been put in front of us 
and uh, students, those who have registered for this webinar, is I think more than uh, 250 or so, something like that. So the another uh, benefit of the arranging e webinars, otherwise also, uh, the, uh, without this technology, it would have not been possible to give the uh, opportunity to listen to the various resource persons all over the state as, or as well as the, all over the India or the internationally also. When we arrange the international programs also, then, then we get uh, so many you know, students can listen and participate in, in the interacting with each other, the, the advanced knowledge which they have gathered throughout their life. So with this uh, uh, such type of the webinar, the students are going to get the knowledge from the so, so many resource persons spread all across the nation. And that is the major benefit of the, for the students. Otherwise, they would have never got that opportunity to listen to them because the resource persons have put their whole life into that subject in depth in to understand the subject in depth. And their aptitude and their research orientation is being imparted to the students, which are going to make a career into their respective field. So that's why the, the advancement in the all the faculties or the, all the even the chemistry, physics, and all other faculties of the science is going to be continuous. It is a going to be a continuous process, and with the advancement of this this knowledge and application of that knowledge into the technology, the ease of life is going to be very very easy. So it is going to help to have a better life, to have an easy life, and to use, save our time, and to use that time, what has been spared, is to be going to be utilized in different ways, so that the, our whole life and the whole community's life is going to be at a, at a different standard or different level. So this is the advancement of the all the faculties which is going to help to each other. Similarly, advancements into the field of the chemistry is also going to use our life in a very better way. So those who have done the researches in the respective fields, they will get, they will definitely gather the, the, the very good amount of knowledge or the in-depth knowledge or in a different vision of the, that knowledge is going to be shared in this webinar to the by the resource persons and that is going to benefit the, our students all across the who are participating into this uh, webinar the three lectures three sessions are going to be conducted in first session second session and the third session of today's doctor in first session dr mahendra n lokhande the who is the from the department of the chemistry AVR Government College for Women, Ambedkar State uh, Curricul Pondicherry, who is to talk on the application synthesis of the geloids with the basic of the TGA and the DTA. In a technical session two, Dr. Balaji Sidram Selukar, Department of the Chemistry, Anantra Power College of Engineering and the Research Pune, he is to talk on the uh, uh, on the synthesis, characterization, and application of the bio biodegradable polymers. In a technical session three, uh, Dr. Rajeshri A. Markandevar, Department of the Chemistry, Rashtrapita Mahatma Gandhi SS College, Sauli District, Chandrapur, is going to throw the light on the topic rise and shine. So these are the various three fields, three different topics on which the in-depth uh, uh, knowledge is going to be get, uh, imparted by these three resource persons. I'm very much uh, sure with such a resource for knowledge from the resource person is going to be uh, received by the, our students who are participating it. And this way, our college uh, uh, lecturers in the department, department of uh, chemistry and all other their associates are going to to uh, what I would say that they are creating very uh, noble uh, act by way of arranging this uh, type of the webinar. So they are responding positively to the appeal made by the Honorable Prime Minister as well as the uh, university 
and our university also as well as the other uh, uh, departments also cooperating with each other that's why we we in past also we could uh, we could uh, arrange such type of the webinars or the lecture series so also today by the from the department of the chemistry and iqac they have uh, put forward another step arranging such type of the national webinar i am thankful to all the persons who are who are participating and all the resource persons who are going to participate and uh, put and uh, is going to spend some time for we people as well as the students participating so they will be largely benefited i'm thankful to all each and every person all the stakeholders who are participating into this uh, for uh, uh, um, continuing this uh, uh, education in a such a difficult period of the corona i expect this to be continued even after the uh, even i expect that, that this also should be continued as a on a regular basis because this is another media uh, which has been uh, found in a such a difficult period to use such type of the internet services for imparting the education the, uh, and to get the resource person's knowledge to the students who are participating in the process. Thanks to all, and I'm always thankful to the, our uh, principal, as well as the, all other uh, co-conveners and conveners of this uh, webinar. And uh, thanks for the, all the participants and all the best. I, with this, uh, I declared that this uh, seminar national e webinar is been uh, inaugurated thank you thank you all thank you very much sir we are able to organize such programs because of uh, you, your moral moral boosting support uh, you are always there in the uh, uh, the day, day before you have inaugurated the um, one week lecture series today you, you, you are there to support us in spite of uh, you are not feeling quite well uh, from since the last week uh, and uh, as our inaugurator has touched almost all the aspects of this webinar in his inaugural address and uh, as I, I have been instructed by the uh, president of the inaugural function, our respected principal, uh, that uh, if uh, Lokhande sir is uh, ready with his presentation, we will directly start the session uh, because we are running short of time. And uh, he, uh, the president is also uh, with us in the valedictory function. So the, uh, the presidential address will be uh, conducted in the valedictory function. Uh, Lokande sir, yes, if sir. you are ready, yes sir, shall we start? You are, you are ready. Uh, uh, we will start the first session. Sure, sir. Shall I start it now? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Hello. Okay, sir. Is this Hello. my slide is visible? Hello, Taki, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the Balkande sir, on introduction, sir. It is visible. Yes, sir. Balkande, sir. Yes, sir. Taki, sir. Just... Uh, please introduce the resource person of the first session. Huh. Sir, unmute, unmute Kotapale, sir. Unmute your mic. Yes, yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Your voice is clear, sir. Shall I start? No, Please sir, wait, sir. Balkande, sir, is going to introduce you. Okay, okay, sir. Balkande, sir. Dr. Javardhan Balkande. Is he listening? 
Ask Kota Palle to uh, introduce him. He has got uh, some technical problem. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I have a Balkanist. Hi, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Ah, yes. yes, sir. Yes. Uh, I am here to. Hello. I am here to introduce today's resource person. Uh, today we have a very young and dynamic researcher in chemistry, Dr. Mahindra Nanduram Lokhande, currently working as an assistant professor in chemistry at Abhivyar Government College of College for Women, Karaikal Pondicherry. Sir did his graduation and post graduation from our parent uh, university, that is from Swami Ramananda Tirth Marafa University, Nanded. He obtained his PhD from Savitribai Phule University, Pune, in 2013. Uh, his expertise in organic uh, and physical chemistry and methodology development and asymmetric synthesis. So far, he has published more than 15 research articles in a very reputed highly impact factor journals, including Springer, Elsewhere, John Milley, etc. He has published two books in internationally recognized publishers like Lambert and Lula publication from USA. He also presented many papers in a international and national level. He also worked as an organizing secretary for five days national workshop on experiment in physics organized by Department of Physics and TIFR Mumbai. He also served as a coordinator for state level and university level workshop. And today he will going to <clears throat> talk on application synthesis of zeolites with the basic of TGA and DTA. With this brief introduction, I welcome Dr. Mahindra Lokhande sir and I handed over this virtual mic to him. Over to you, Dr. Lokhande sir. Uh, thank you, Balkhande sir, for this nice introduction. Uh, so I would like to present and I'll also thankful to uh, President uh, Dr. Madhuro sir and coordinator for giving me chance today to represent myself. Uh, today I'm going to talk on the some of the aspect, aspect of the geolites, uh, their synthesis and their application with the help of some of the uh, concept from this book concept that is TG and DT techniques. So let's, we'll start on this topic. Let me go to the first introductory part before my actual uh, synthesis part, actual my research part. TG is nothing but the thermal gravimetric analysis. It is the branch of chemistry in which majorly thermal changes study take place. So it is a matter of the temperature. In this analysis technique is useful for many methods and majority physical and chemical properties we have to study of the material through decreasing and increasing the temperature and find out the rate of the reaction through that one. So when we are thinking about this TGA and DTA, why we have to study it? So when we have to do the research that time, the main things, we have to take the help of the basic, that is the book theory. And this book theory is so much important to know that what exactly changes and what is the application of these terms takes place throughout the synthesis. Now, I would like to view as 
I know that one few of these uh, undergraduate students was also present in this conference, one day conference. Some of the topics which graduate students also with the help of this topic can perform the study and hoping that one day these students will get this knowledge and definitely they will success to doing the research. So when we are talking about the TGA, thermal gravimetric analysis, first time Hetero Hondas, one of the Japanese scientists who discovered the method by which these thermal gravimetric analysis techniques is used. The thermal word itself stand for the temperature. Temperature gravimetric itself stand for the amount of substance in the gram. So analysis by using the temperature to find out how much gram of that quantity was degraded, evaluated, evaporated, so many concepts. For that one, he was developed one of the kind of the instrument that after this, that instrument itself called as the Honda's balance. You can see, we are looking here, the Honda's balance. If you see in the Honda's balance, so this, they have used the furnace. This furnace having the capability of the temperature more than 1000 degrees Celsius. With this, there is a two coil that is called as the thermocouple. This coil is made up of the platinum, platinum and platinum rhodium thermocouple. With this, there is a sample kept inside the silica crucible as silica crucible is high sustained for the longer temperature. So it is very useful to use this silica crucible. But one condition is that one, neither we have to use the concave or convex kind of this silica crucible. We have to use uh, circle, circular silica crucible to minimize the inheritance of this gravimetric analysis. With this, there is a platinum wire from, you can see here A to B, B to D. He, this is the pan balance. And from B, the, you can find one wire inserting through this pan. So this pan is useful to determine the weight of the substance, what changes takes place inside this furnace. So you can keep the furnace temperature different. There are three kinds of the temperature you can keep inside that one. One is the static furnace, one second is the dynamic, and third is the uh, in presence of this argon means uh, there should not be have any oxygen left inside that furnace. Static furnace, you can see, in the static uh, condition, you can use the air as uh, a uh, medium. Yes, sir. Uh, continue, sir. Continue. Okay. So is my voice is audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Now you can see here the, if you use the air as a condition, then you can use say that it is a static furnace. If you are using the air, but the flow of the air is more than the normal year, then that is a, a dynamic furnace. Instead of this year, if you use the as a carbon dioxide as the medium in the inside the furnace or nitrogen. So there are the some, some and more methods which is available to uh, analyze the sample inside that sing, uh, single crucible, crucible. Now, this is the again one mirror, mirror which can you find the level of this one, this uh, balance. So this See, you can see one hanger hang, uh, hanging here. So this hanger, it is for the weight purpose. And this is a, another one is the H, which is attached with the D corner of this one. And it is attached with one spiral coil that is called as the Dewar flask. This Dewar flask is also used as a damper. Why you have to use as a damper means suppose you are taking the silica crucible heating with this coil to the furnace. And we know that there is a platinum wire through the B terminal to the furnace. So it forming some oscillation to minimize that oscillation to reduce that or nullify that oscillation. This Dewar flask is used inside this coil and that call as the damper. Let's see the what actually happened inside the TG and what is that application. In the thermal gravimetric analysis, there are these few of the things we are going to study First thing is the calcination, second is the decomposition, third identification, then kinetics, purity checkup, thermal stability, vaporization, chem isoxygen. Calcination is the nothing but a technique in which we have to hit the compound. So this is the modern TGA instrument. What Honda was developed now, this another newly very costly inference uh, instrument it came. 
so this calcination calcination is nothing but the heating a sample to below its boiling point so if we have to heat the sample with its below point then only we can study what kind of the reaction takes place inside that instrument so that may be get decomposed decomposition if the compound get decomposition one or, or the other then we can find out easily the properties that decomposition we should know the by this technique we can know the molecular weight of that compound by the so that is called like the identification kinetics is nothing but as this is a temperature control technique so if we are heating that inside that furnace so how much temperature you are applying at what time it is applying so by using that one and how that compound is degraded decomposed or evaporated and the the change with respect to time we can see it is as a kinetic the one more factor it is there that is the purity if this tj application that we know we should we will know the uh, what exactly pure how much pure compound it is present and through this analysis techniques beside that as this is a temperature control technique so if you are giving to heat to that compound we know the how at what extent that compound is the thermal stable how how many compound get evaporated you will you should know by using the vaporization techniques some of the things is happened inside inside that furnace with the sample in the crucible silica crucible that some of the material they get decomposed and that some of the gases gets evaporated maybe that gases get absorbed by that solid surface area of that material that zeolite so that property is we can say that is the chem absorption property now come to the point how to explain the nature of the thermogram by using a simple experiment that is the copper sulfate here you may find this copper sulfate is pentahydrated the pentahydrated copper sulfate you can see we know that one water evaporated at 100 degrees celsius but as there are some hydrogen bonding with the oxygen and all the matter it will take place you can see here when copper sulfate heated okay in this analysis techniques you you should know that one on x axis temperature is there while y axis weight is there as per the tj principle we have to study the weight loss weight gain or what weight change takes place on this y axis that is the weight of that material compound now you can see here at when you are heating at the 100 degree celsius up to the copper sulfate we know that one copper pentahydrate converted into trihydrate and it at the same time two water molecule get evaporated when you are looking at the junction at the same temperature you can see here 100 degree celsius then there is a line curve from 100 degree celsius to 180 degree celsius celsius then it is called as the reaction interval so the curve from 100 degree celsius to 180 degree celsius this curve it is coming down from top to bottom this curve is called as the reaction intervals now and the straight line you are looking inside this spectra it's showing the stability of the copper pentahydrate from 0 degree celsius to 99 degree celsius means up to 99 degree celsius this copper pentahydrate is more stable was this 100 degree celsius temperature attained by the instrument inside the furnace inside the furnace simultaneously degradation or simultaneously first step it is started you can see the vaporization here this one property we already study in this vaporization property this water molecule start to vaporize from this material subsequently there is the copper sulfate trihydrate 250 degree celsius again it will start decompose to copper sulfate monohydrate copper monosulfate to copper sulfate at 325 degree celsius then one another question is arise 
what happened after 325 degrees celsius what happened to that copper sulfate we know that one copper sulfate when again heated that sulfate in presence of air if you are heating it the sulfur so4 it become so2 and it get evaporated and as you are heating in presence of air that copper gets oxidized and it become the copper oxide and we know that one the copper oxide is the more stable than the copper sulfate and you know, uh, and if you see the study of this uh, tj instrument in the specifically this uh, chromophore such as sulfate it is there iodide it is there or uh, nitrate it is there we can see iodide is the least stable compound when you are using in the tj instrument so this is called as the thermogram thermogram means thermo is the temperature gram is the form of the weight and by this weight way we can analyze how much weight loss takes place if you take the weight of this copper sulfate and take the weight of this copper sulfate tetrahedrate and copper sulfate single the difference between these two weight by using the pan balance much weight loss takes place in this copper sulfate next things i would like to share with the differential thermal analysis that is the dta techniques this heading itself explaining what is the dta dta is nothing but the analytical in which temperature difference between the sample and non reactive substance or material is monitored when two substances are subjected to identical heating program so by that way so this is a principle of the dta in which mainly we are study with the thermal analysis and what is the difference in the thermal analysis what is the difference in temperature takes place that only we are recording it and that is called as the differential thermal analysis just we'll take the short look of this differential thermal analysis in which it involves the heating and cooling of the test sample we know that one there is again one thermocouple there is one furnace there is one reference compound which has to be correlate thermally with our sample compound and this these two thermocouple in which this cabinet is made up of the aluminum oxide as aluminum oxide required high melting point to decompose that one so the normal temperature up to 700 degrees celsius it will, it will not affect uh, some few thousand degrees celsius temperature it will not affect on this cabinet of this uh, dta instrument why this temperature plot there is a temperature plot between the two things one is the differential temperature against the time or against the temperature if it is against the time that is also called as the differential thermal analysis or derivative if it is against the time there then the specific word the derivative term thermal analysis is used if it is against the temperature then there is a word differential thermal analysis is used so this is the technique there are the two graph we can study through the dta technique here changes in the sample which leads to the either absorption or evaluation of heat takes place either there are the two things is there one peak lies below the thermogram one peak lies above the thermogram so with those, both the techniques we can study the dta technique you can clearly see if the more and over more or less this dta peaks will looks like like this so if the compound which is absorbing the heat from the system then that reaction it was showing the endothermic peak and the, when it heat is absorbed then it is upward to the showing like this concave now if the material itself instead of take absorbing the heat there is some fusion release either fusion or fission if the compound or material making the fission then there is the exothermic reaction in this exothermic reaction heat is released if the graph if you are plotting heat input arbitrarily any unit from 0 to 1000 degrees celsius with this temperature then there will be the graph this graph is called as the thermal uh, analysis graph differential thermal analysis graph 
let's see how we can predict what exactly happened now here we have taken one example that is the calcium oxalate calcium oxalate is the monohydrate compound if you heat this compound that during the temperature 100 to 226 in which you can find out there is one peak which is related to the exothermic peak if this exothermic peak it is showing we can conclude that 100 to 200 to 26 there is a loss of see here water molecule but that heat is absorbed and if it heat is absorbed then endothermic but if heat is released then exothermic so this is the exothermic peak subsequently there is one endothermic peak and again there is after decomposition again one of the exothermic peak now if you see the endothermic and endo, uh, exothermic peaks both are the positive and negative it's are here the calcium monohydrate one is the endothermic peak second is the exothermic peak and third again it is the endothermic peak the each peak you can find there is specific mechanism is there first at the endothermic water heat is absorbed water molecule evaporated then second step in calcium oxalate unhydrated there is a formation of calcium carbonate and carbon monoxide that carbon monoxide get evaporated again remain calcium carbonate which can decompose into the calcium oxide and carbon dioxide now you can see here the endothermic peak of this carbon calcium carbonate it is a endothermic reaction 660 to 840 degree celsius temperature it will be required and you clearly see it here calcium carbonate it convert into calcium oxide and calcium oxide it is a more stable than calcium carbonate or calcium oxalate but beside that there is a role of the हेलो टाके सर टाके सर कंप्लीट द डिफिकल्टी काय झाले सर सर एग्जिट झाले थोडा आले होते नेटवर्क नेटवर्क ओके ओके बोलू का सर ला अम बोला त्यांना इथे दिसले तर मी जॉइन करतो Uh, due to internet connectivity uh, sir has uh, disconnected i kindly request you to all the participants uh, sir will be jo uh, join uh, within a couple of time
हेलो लोखंडे सर हेलो ज्वाइन यस 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 सर प्लीज कंटिन्यू I ask the uh, I appeal to all the co-host. Please don't add new participants because we are already the meeting is full. So if any speaker disconnects, it it becomes uh, impossible for him to rejoin. Sir Starks, Lokande sir, please continue. Un unmute sir, Lokande sir. ओके 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 महेंद्र ओके 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 सर आई एम मेकिंग यू ओके सर मेक श्योर दैट सर इज इन द मीटिंग Yes, he is in the meeting, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, you disabled me by participant sc uh, screen sharing. Can you allow me that one? Be uh, beside that, I cannot uh, because of that. Okay, I cannot... okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Try once again, sir. Yeah. Now, now it is coming, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay. Hmm. Is it visible, sir? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Sir. Uh, sorry for disturbance. Uh, so this is the calcium oxalate monohydrate uh, DTA monogram. So this is present in the air and carbon dioxide. So what exactly differentiate we had studied in the between the tg and dta techniques so change in mass of the sample and here in dta the temperature we have to measure the difference in temperature of the sample that decomposition or whatever techniques uh, whatever things was happened now the we have to plot here mass versus temperature uh, and here the change in temperature versus either time or then uh, remaining characteristics are the change in sample composition thermostability kinetics here my, maxima and minima gives the information about the exothermic and endothermic peaks that much only it is related with the dta so this is the actual uh, combined tga analysis thermogram is there just for this uh, knowledge i was shared this one now let me share with my current work St uh, right now i am uh, from last one year i'm doing here about the nx uh, catalyst this nx catalyst is uh, nothing but this is the analog of the uh, zeolite fuja site we know that one there is uh, every zeolite having some properties that three dimensionalness microsporous solid well defined structure like that like that now if you see the nx zeolite there is a composition defined composition of silicon dioxide aluminum dioxide sodium oxide so this composition it is the synthetic composition of this nx zeolite what i did uh, i used the i use i prepared the nx zeolite by using the uh, rice husk we know that when rice is the major uh, field crop in india so i used that rice husk and i grinded it and, and calcinated burned in the oven for 500 degrees celsius for 10 hour and i got a white a white colored ash this ash contain maximum or major amount of the silica this paper i was published recently in the december uh, last year in second step once i got that silica i uh, grounded it with the copper nitrate zinc nitrate and ferrous nitrate so this like this three system i made it again i calcinated it, it for the 24 hour for 100 degrees celsius and 3 hour at uh, up to 500 degrees celsius and again kept for 30 minute inside the oven so that complete digestion will occur 
now what we had understood the tga and dta that here we we'll like to use that all the concepts you can see here in the tga dta spectra of nax zeolite this x stand for the either uh, sodium sodium and uh, na sodium x stand for aluminum and silicate oxide you can see here there is the red line red line and blue line there are the few miss red line it was showing there is not that much sample sample decomposition was occurred by tga method but blue line it was showing some hump upward you can see here small hump upwards upwards so there upward it was showing exothermic peak while the below upward it was showing endothermic peak so this endothermic peaks it belong to the evaporation of water that is bended inside this nx zeolite so the weight loss of this water around 9.267 percent so loss of water this much takes place from the 100 mg of uh, so total uh, mg of the from that compound so sample weight loss in mg 0.5016 then this is total uh, temperature range 42 to 45 degree celsius you can see the below the temperature it is there and simultaneously the your right hand side dta curve is there while left hand side tga curve is there so in one curve we can study the both things and the temperature at which endothermic and exothermic peaks is occurred up to that uh, endothermic 100 to 200 degree celsius means it indicating that water was evaporated while exothermic peak 780 to 850 degrees celsius this was occurred take the another zinc nx sample in the zinc nx sample you may find that there is a loss of water molecule almost 13.618% if you see the here 9.2% but here 13.618% means this sample prepared znx is highly hygroscopic as it contain the more amount of water there is a more loss of the water takes place so there is again a big endothermic peak is observed between the 100 to 200 degree celsius while one small endothermic peak is observed at 680 degree celsius the remaining are the one exothermic peak at 850 degree celsius and you may see it here in the red line it is showing the tga curve in the gramatic analysis the first it was showing the decomposition and evaporation of water after that you may see there is a chemo absorption occur in the small hump you can see the chemo absorption it might be because of the as this uh, nx zeolite as uh, well adsorbent so that's why this uh, chemo absorption uh, phenomena is happened here the next sample is the zinc copper nx sample with this zinc we embedded with this copper molecule we know that when zinc in the literature there is the one cation exchange take place either zinc or uh, copper or any transition metal non transition metal but here first time we had employed the bimetallic cation exchange procedure with the sodium ion so the sodium ion totally exchange with the zinc and copper so this is called as the zinc copper nx zeolite in which you can see clearly all tg and dtf curves in which endothermic and exothermic peak this is a highly stable compound as you can see throughout the overall only water molecule was evaporated means whatever compound was formed its form its oxides only and all nitrate group was evaporated and this is a single phase compound so this gives the stability a uh, thermal stability information about the thermal stability of this tga and dta curve the another is the uh, ferrous uh, if you use the ferric nitrate and embedded with the doped with this nx zeolite you can see the there is a again one endothermic exothermic while the stability tga curve it is very well so after you operating this water molecule only oxides of such as zinc oxide ferrous oxide silicon oxide and aluminum oxides only present 
and you can see there is no exothermic peak observed in the EFE GKFE and X complex means the thermal stability itself explaining there is no fusion occurred inside the TGA graph. After that, confirming the uh, same images that uh, scanning electron microscope images of this compound, we have uh, recorded lower as well as higher uh, resolution uh, images. So in the lower images and higher images, you can see the images we recorded up to the few of the nanometer. So crystal structure, you can see these are all the cubic crystal structure with 235 to 221, 286 nanometer. And this morphology looks like this when they arrange the cubic crystal. This is for the zinc copper NX zeolite in which you can see this uh, colored map, it will show you the presence of copper, aluminum, silk and silicon and zinc morphology and their distribution. While the after crystallization and same images, you can see there is a cylindrical porous means these are the mesoporous and high crystallinity sample is present. And in this graph, you can look like a carbon oxygen. This because of this carbon oxygen as these are derived from this uh, hulk, uh, husk rice. That's why the carbon percentage is there and remaining. This is the EDX pattern. This is the elemental analysis. And you can see the elemental analysis of this oxygen, silicon, aluminum, carbon and sodium. So this is, this is giving the idea how much percentage of this metal ion present inside this sample. The same way we are recorded for the GKNX. GKNX also showing some discrete kind of the uh, cubic crystal structure from three micron to five micron. This is EDX pattern and this is the color images pattern. So th this is the last one, same image for the zinc FENX zeolite in which this is more or discrete. And this is the cubic crystal of this uh, zeolite with cylindrical mesoporous compound with form. And this is the EDS pattern for this same images. This is the uh, powder XRD. Powder XRD, there you didn't find any harm inside this powder XRD. It means that the crystallinity of this complex is very pure and all, all PIB is showing the High, highest uh, height. So these all are the highest pure and showing the respective color that NX, copper, zinc, zinc NX and APN, Gen NX. These are the powder crystal. This data is still explaining the two theta values, Miller indices, interplanar distancing, crystal size. If you take out the, suppose we are taking the Gen NX, FE, NX sample in which you can find the two theta value around 200, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 in which you can see here, the few of the peaks we had selected and their Miller indices to theta value and by using the scalar e equation and Bragg equation, the, uh, we calculated the uh, spacing and we find that 17.91 nanometer is the theoretical value, but actual value, it is a 500 nanometer. So, so even the, because of that microscope range, we recorded up to this much so theoretical and uh, practical value may differ because of the as uh, same images is the more virtual uh, and uh, correct method to find out the actual size in the nanometer. So this is the solid UV spectra of these four complexes. You may see the NX complex, this almost, uh, this contain major amount of the silicon dioxide and if you take the literature search, 250 nanometer is the silicon oxide. 250 nanometer is the silicon oxide. Uh, that much absorption takes place. But in actual, it is the, uh, sorry, in theoret theoretically and practically, uh, 550 nanometer is the silicon dioxide absorption in the UV spectrophotometer. But when it is combined with the NX zeolite, it is giving the 550 nanometer. So this, that this, some differences will be there. Uh, uh, theoretically, 550 and actual 250 nanometer, it will be there. But see the NX zeolite, it is the red colored. NX zeolite, when it is a copper, it is present. It gives the absorption at 222 nanometer. Now, NX zinc, 
if you this blue colored absorption there are the two absorption will takes place one the slight absorption takes place at the 270 nanometer and the last one nx zinc fe so this is the uh, green colored in which you can see the lit there is some humps will be there and this compound will absorb at 320 uh, nanometer the theoretically ferrous oxide absorbs at 362 nanometer but practically it is observed at 320 nanometer so this this difference is happened because of there is some exchange between the and some crystal structure planar distances and accommodation of this cation inside the groove of that zeolite because of that one this structural feature and ue absorption takes place so this is the ir spectra you can see here there are very few of the uh, sharp peaks the first peak it explain there is the aloh sioh and remaining uh, zeolite oh will be miss it is the uh, basic in nature it is explaining itself beside that there is the 3415 there is the this specific number of peaks from 3415 3372 or 3312 to this observed because of the overturn band of the water molecule it ex himself explaining that water molecule is embedded inside the zeolite structure beside that this 1595 it explaining the zinc oxygen silicon or aluminum oxygen silicon such kind of bonding this 1995 it explaining the stretching frequency for aluminum oxide so now after studying this many things we applied this strategy for the dye degradation after successful the synthesize this zeolite we are taken one sudan red dye sudan red is a yellowish red dye this is a lysochrome azo dye actually it appearance uh, red in color so it come co contain the nitrogen nitrogen double bond now now in january this paper is accepted and it is currently uh, in uh, journal in under accepted you may look there and in detail you can see now the second one is the procedure take the this dye add make the solution as it is highly soluble in the water add it there few drops of the hydrogen peroxide add your catalyst and let the decompose it over the time you may find there the after decomposition there is a formation of the beta naphthol and ether with the we have confirmed through the gcms spectrum and there is a you may see there is a retention time around 10 and about 20 that about 20 we are analyzed careful carefully but it is nothing but the uh, sudan red only but moreover we found out at molecular weight 144 for the beta naphthol means confirming the formation or degradation of the sudan red dye so this is the uh, see that sudan red you may see uh, uh, with this uh, hydrogen peroxide and catalyst over the time when it is bind with the catalyst you may see there is a red color instantly changes into the yellow color but the if you see the two vials they looks very clear it explaining that this complete degradation of the red dye is occurred at 10 mole percent of the catalyst plus 10 mole percent of the hydrogen peroxide so we had recorded its uv spectra so for the uh, find out the kinetics of the degradation so from dark to the light uh, we are taken so for each 45 minutes 60 minutes 75 minutes we recorded the spectra and find out and finally we know that one there is a degradation was occurred inside the uh, that dye so i thought this much is enough for today and i acknowledge it to principal our college we are given me opportunity to work in our government college pondicherry and uh, i also very much uh, given my thanks to the principal and coordinator degarao bindu arts commerce and science college bhopur this is nandir so i am very much thankful for everyone who joined this uh, conference thank you very much so just if anybody having any question you may please hello 
so this topic is offer for discussion uh, from student participant you have query about this presentation i may ask to dr mohindra lokhande sir if any query from participant if there is any question from student you may ask to dr lokhande sir so i think there is no query so <clears throat> i move towards uh, today dr mahindra lokhande sir uh, delivered uh, his talk very uh, nicely explain the application and synthesis of geolites with the basic of tj and dta in his talk he explained the applications of tga in uh, calcination decomposition then the identification kinetics purity check thermal stability vaporization and chemoabsorption he also explained the differential uh, thermal analysis that is dta with a calcium oxalate monohydrate uh, as an example he also elaborate the difference between tga and uh, the dta also sir also highlighted how to prepare the next geolite and uh, he is very uh, his topic his presentation was brilliant in english i hope all students may uh, gain the knowledge from his lecture and on the behalf of our our organizing committee of this uh, national webinar i express my gratitude i i am thankful to dr mahendra lokhande for excellent presentation on the topic and hope in future also to be guided with his research knowledge in the chemistry so a very wonderful session you have and uh, from the all the organizing committee members i thank you to you sir thank you very much thank you, very much, sir. thank you thank you sir balkande sir so we move towards the next next session balkande sir sir uh, what do you take sir uh, what do you take sir ask kota pille sir who is going to introduce the second guest second session uh, resource person hello sir hello sir hello sir sir now introduce the uh, second session resource person prashant ji how is the name ha prashant ji so the next speaker will introduce by dr prashant tawde sir dr tawde sir please the host ekra okay. lakita tawde sir is not tuned uh, kotapalle sir you introduce please see in the list yes yes tera coach karwa the wo tyaar the sir acha tyaar hai tera to phone dikha jo to blue lag aayega ओके Okay. A very good afternoon to one and all. I warmly welcome all of you for the second session of One Day National 
webinar on advances in chemical sciences for better future 2022 department of chemistry digambar bindu college hokar i dr prashant tawde assistant professor of chemistry at digambar bindu college hokar it's great pleasure to introduce our today's researcher dr balaji sidram selukar dr selukar sir is currently working as an assistant professor in chemistry at anantrao power college of engineering and research pune sir is having more than 7 plus years teaching experience in ug and ug and pg level he also handle responsibilities like admission process coordinator member of research and development committee laboratory in charge and many more dr selukar sir is got his phd from the one of the best institute that is national chemical laboratory pune his phd topic is synthesis and characterization of biodegradable polymers using organo modified clay he completed his phd work under the supervision dr mrs b garnai he also completed his post doctoral research work in uf rgs brazil under the supervision dr henry stephen stecker sir has published more than 10 national and international paper in reputed journal he presented many more many paper and poster at various conference conferences workshop training courses and also got a second prize for poster presentation in 2008 with this brief introduction i request to dr b s selukar sir to deliver his valuable lecture on the topic synthesis characterization and application of biodegradable polymers thank you sir okay uh, good afternoon to all of you oh am i audible to all of you yes sir yes good afternoon okay uh, so good afternoon and uh, thank you for uh, my introduction in detail since graduation to current levels so i will share presentations is my screen visible sir uh, no sir uh, you have to share your ppt your screen is visible but ppt is not there now i think it's uh, visible yes sir yes is coming sir is visible all of you yes sir yes sir okay so thank you very much for uh, inviting me uh, on this occasion of 75 uh, azadi ka amrit mahotsav so as uh, my topic is synthesis and characterization and its properties and application of biodegradable polymers so as uh, dr tawde sir introduced right now i am assistant professor in one of the best engineering college in pune at antra power engineering college so there i am working as assistant professor so whatever i am going to present so i did this research work in one of the uh, best institutes in india and world ranking institutes that is uh, national chemical laboratory pune and uh, i got our date phd uh, before 30 years of my age and i completed my research work within 4 years and degree is awarded by pune university so before going to detail so let's understand first what is bioplastic 
so it represents two terms so bio means your a resource from plant based and plastics is we know what we are using but it is very important what is the source to make the plastic so we can think about a petro fossil is the source of carbon material versus the source of carbon material is from plant biomass feed stick feed stock so this first bioplastic it indicate it is beginning of life of the plastics so we are making the plastic it doesn't matter which source we are using now the second term comes biodegradable plastics that indicates end of life means it provides for environmental free responsible removal from environmental through biological organic recycling means what i want to tell you if you use the material and throw in the environment under the specific conditions it undergo decompositions and it mix up with the soil so, uh, sorry to interrupt you sir uh, your uh, paper is not moving uh, yeah i am on first slide sir okay 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 sir okay go ahead uh, went to next slides so oh, it's my okay, slide okay. is bioplastic is visible all of you no sir your introductory uh, first page is visible sir now it's not visible this bioplastic represents two separate independent concept this this yes sir yes is, is my slide visible that uh, first word is bioplastic in left corner hello sir sir just a moment so it's there i think that hello sir uh, only first page is visible sir ha sir ha now it's now so if i uh, make so it is not visible sir sir currently now you are on the first slide uh, okay. you have to go to the fourth slide sir bioplastic thermal and uh, please adapt the presentation mode sir so you will be on the uh, uh, current slide so now it's a uh, uh, can you yes sir now 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 it is visible sir okay i don't know miss when i move to the slide show it's not visible but uh, anyhow it is visible now right yes sir yes uh, sir uh, one thing sir uh, please add up a slide show yeah when i did Will slide please... show it's it not visible uh, yes 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 sir okay okay go ahead sir go through presentation mode click so there we will try one more time if i uh, make slide show so is it visible now same 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 thing is there sir yeah you are not in the presentation mode okay just go ahead with uh, the same slide yeah okay okay oh, sorry for okay, okay. 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 no so no issue what, what i am going to tell you so bioplastics so we can make uh, the polymer from different sources so that is from petro fossil resource and from plant biomass feed stock so what i want to tell you biodegradable means it's end of life bioplastic it is start of life but the main important is that so when term comes bio means it is not degradable so bio based plastics are not necessarily biodegradable or compostable and biodegradable compostable plastics are not necessary bio based so in short we can synthesize the biodegradable polymers from our lab and we can synthesize 
non biodegradable polymers from bio resource that is plant based feedstock this i want to tell you now understand this concept at molecular level we can see this first structure it's carbon carbon bond in red color so this is the polyethylene so this polyethylene we can prepare by using a ethanol which is a source of from biomass but not necessary it is a biodegradable so this carbon carbon bond is very strong we cannot break it next move to the bio based polyester here also source of carbon that is ch2x ch2x and you can see the ester linkage here this bio based polyester this is biodegradable in nature and the source of this monomer is from the plant feed stock now let's think about this next structure that is bio pet so everybody using coca cola bottle so whatever cap we are using so that is made from polyethylene drastalate and that is from bio biomass but because of this rigid ring it is not a biodegradable same things look to this carbon source in red color polypropylene so this also not the biodegradable now you can see this materials very important materials polylactic acid that is pla having carbon source look to the source carbon carbon bond also here as compared to first structure and this structures but this pla is very beautiful materials which is biodegradable and very important the source of this material is from the bio base or plant based now looks what is mean by degradations so in 1920 what observes if we throw the polymers are kept under certain uh, experiments so you can see here as time increases its molecular weight increases strength increases uh, uh decreases as per time strength decreases mass decreases you can see here at the top each properties are high but as time passes it undergo loss that is negative values comes if molecular weight is 1 lakh so if time increases it molecular weight decreases means this was this indicates the polymer material undergo degradations by using different conditions now see most of the accident hospitals the doctor prefers the material should be degradable in the body and they are using to make the surgery especially for the in accident hospitals so now look look this graph what this graph indicate is on y axis mechanical strength and blue color indicates it's a plate that is made from your biodegradable polymers you can look in terms of strength and initially bone having a less strength means maybe undergo fracture or something or delicate bone or some uh, accident due to accident it's broken and when you do the surgery so you can see slightly the strength of bone is increases here and this strength of plate is decreases means here i have written degradable polymer plate so what happen as time increases so we got our desired results the bone gets strengthens and polymer degrades itself in the body and it went uh, it goes to the our metabolic process so this is the importance of biodegradable polymers now look how to identify so which polymers is biodegradable 
so we know the carbonyl group that is carbon double bond co so when this group attached to some elements on the periodic table that is oxygen nitrogen and sulfur so we can easily identify okay this is the biodegradable polymers these are the some electronegative elements attached to carbonyl group so this is the message from these slides so ester some amide thioesters these are the biodegradable polymers so these are the other examples carbonate urethane urea imide anhydride so most important thing is look the carbonyl group and the neighboring atom now there are some natural polymers fibrin chitosan gelatin okay as i told previously so all polymers are not from the bio bas source synthetic polymers what is synthetic polymers we can make this polymer in the laboratory by using some fossil fuels resource polycaprolactone which is a liquid monomer Cap polycaprolactone is the polymer and caprolactone is the colorless liquid monomer which is prepared from the fossil source but this special is a biodegradable polymers <clears throat> likewise polydioxanin polyanhydride polytrimethyl carbonates these are the example of synthetic polymers what happens generally for the degradation in the degradation mechanism when it comes under the certain conditions so it undergo hydrolysis and some enzymatic degradations so it undergo a loss in different properties we can say or we can study the degradation by two ways by looking the surface of the polymers and bulk degradation means whole materials will undergo degradations and surface erosion if you see this diagram or figure you can easily understand if you see the black area it slowly decreases and if you see the right side figure bulk erosion the whole surface undergo degradations this is called as bulk erosion whenever polymer undergo degradations so this way we can <clears throat> technically determine the surface erosion slowly surface will decrease and finally we will get the end of the mass similarly in the bulk erosion also same you can see this figure bulk eroding system that is a that is from the inside core part of the polymer it start to degrade and here b figure you can see from the surface it will start to degrade now just i am taking one example in detail that is polylactic acids you can say it is a pla if you see this figures so everybody know the scope i guess this figure is familiar with all of us this sugarcane this beetroot and this corn so by using this raw materials with the help of some uh, enzymatic catalyst biological catalyst enzyme so by fermentation process we are making this monomer that is basic of this polylactic acid that is lactic acid is the monomer and we can prepare this polymers you can see uh, this picture on leaves So such type of polymer transparent we can make it this is the chemical structure and you can see the application this is just one application to understand how this material is very important what is the importance of this materials this material we can prepare by using plant biomass or plant feed stock and end of the application biodegradable this is very important now look this has the <clears throat> if we think the stereochemistry of the monomer not the polymer this is the monomer lactic acid that is based on your uh, functional oh group to the 
right hand side and left hand side we can say this is the d lactic acid and l lactic acids but the major percentage of l lactic acids we are getting from the natural resource and in coming years i'm sure that each and every non biodegradable polymers will replace with this materials this is such a important materials and maybe this helps to our agricultural economy of india and farmer will be happy in future now this see this is very very important material that structure but what are the synthesis methods as i described the pla synthesis we can prepare by this two way you can see dehydropoly condensation of lactic acids and ring opening polymerization of lactides so these are the just two different experimental procedures if we go through first method dehydropoly condensation method this is removal of water if you condense these two molecules together we will get the water but whatever product we are getting so that is not up to the marks i am the low molecular weight polymers and the another method is ring opening polymerization of lactides so first we are making the this cyclic member lactide which is a appearance like a sugar from this lactic acids by melt polycondensations and if we prepare <coughs> this pla biodegradable polymers from this lactide so we will get very high molecular pla of desired properties which we can use in our common life our daily life so when i was doing research in national chemical laboratory i worked on this molecules two years i prepare this on bulk scale 10 10 kilo 20 kilo and it has the patented ensel has patented this technology to the one of the sugar factory i think that from the uh, dharwad so they are making this lactide and to supply all over the world to make the biopolymers so in short what i want to say you this lactide polylactide technique is beneficial there are two benefits benefit for this by product is zero minimum catalyst and desired properties so the ring opening polymerizations plays very important role now see what is this <clears throat> if you look this these are the material stereo complex i made so what i did i did d lactide separately l lactide separately and mix together it having the sir is my audible am i audible sir yes sir yes sir you are audible sir okay okay just message come internet is uh, not uh, stable so i asked okay sorry so uh, what i am saying to you when you think about d lactide l lactide separately it have the melting point around 97 if mixed together it melting point it above 120 so keeping this concept in mind what i made i made separate pla poly l lactide it is source of lactic acid poly d lactic acid poly d lactide and prepare the different solutions of different compositions you can see 80 20 by weight means 80 gram this 20 gram this percentage by percent and i found that stability of this material is enhanced increasingly very good so we can say it is stable more than 200 degree temperatures so what i did why not this material used in the medical field so what i did i make the plasma treatment that is to increase the porosity of that material and i got the very best results with sem you can see the pores on that materials so we can insert the drug molecules having the size lesser than this and used in the medical applications and i can see 70 30 percentage composition is the best result for this stereo complex of poly l lactide and poly d lactides so what are the common properties of this materials i am saying one one materials i am taking 
There are a lot, but this is very good, important materials. Properties of polylactic acid. This is insoluble in water, moisture, and grease resistance. Easily it is not get absorbed the moisture. Biodegradables at the end use and compostables. Okay, after throwing into the environment, like non-biodegradable polymers we are using and throwing, but it creates the huge pollution. So this material is not, not, not like that. Okay, the polyethylenes, phthalates. So these are the, some commercial uh, fossil based polymers having good strength. So properties of this polyactic are also comparable with that materials also. <clears throat> so what I did, I tried to make this polylactic acids with a new catalyst. We know to make the any compound, we need some catalyst. So what I did, I did some tin oxides and some clay based material and just simply heated by using seven hours the tooling is already published. So I'm getting the cyclic compound and let's try this material to synthesize that polylactide. So this is characterized by IR spectroscopy that we know the IR spectroscopy is used to detect the different functional group like alcohol, acid, carboxylic acids, amide, ether, ester, and so many things. We can determine the functional group. So you can see this characterization method. So easily the OH group, which appearance here, three, four, zero, zero per centimeter is disappear here means it the conformations it form and strong peak at ether linkage so this is what i am saying to you is a confirmation of this catalyst i did i prepared and use this catalyst i written only catalyst here thin based catalyst clay based catalyst to uh, prepare this biodegradable polymers of both the lactide l lactide and d lactides so if we think the mechanism <clears throat> i am not going in detail but see, this catalyst tin will coordinate with oxygen atoms and this carbon acyl bond, here carbon and this oxygen bond break and further reaction with the monomer continuously, you will get the high molecular weight PLA. This is the confirmations of monomer which I have prepared at my own in my laboratory. See. By this method, spectroscopic technique, maybe some of students knew for spectroscopy, but it is the technique used to determine or to confer the number of protons, how many number of protons in each environment. So here, similar three protons, I get doublet here and one proton quartet. So my compound is very pure. So look, this is the solvent by default it comes. 2.16 is acetones. I dried with acetones, some pick comes always in the NMR. So nothing you can see in this other regions. So in science, this is very important. <clears throat> Whenever you are inventing something new, it, it, it should have some proof. It should, it should have some proof. So look, this matter is very pure. So this graph indicates this, nothing impurity is there. So this matter is very, very pure. And Again, this confirmed by carbon NMR spectroscopy to make sure that how many carbons are there, what is the environment, and to make the polylactide confirmed by this carbon NMR spectroscopy. If you look the NMR of polymer, NMR of monomer, so monomer is nothing but the uh, repetitive unit used to make the polymer. So my monomer is here, lactide, and this polylactide is ring open. And I get the molecular weight high, and this chemical shift is different. So his synthesis confirmed. <clears throat> As mentioned in the uh, introduction part, so I got the opportunity to work in the Brazil. So I will tell you, not necessary to tell you the story, but I applied thousand applications during uh, end of my PhD and out of thousand I got one call from USA and from Brazil but USA said after six month wait and Brazil said right now I have decision is yours <clears throat> I take the decision and went to Brazil to do the research that is postdoctoral research after PhD and what I did <clears throat> 
my topic of phd is there tuning of polymers with ionic liquids i didn't know about the ionic liquids although the professor interrupted me and you do you know about the uh, ionic liquid i said no sir i don't know anything but he said okay no problem you have some background of this uh, polymer synthesis you can come and join our group so i take decision i went there and <clears throat> look this one of the <clears throat> Uh, achievement i am sharing with you so uh, in that laboratory the professor is used to make this ionic liquid to make the biopolymers by this methods if you uh, screen is visible to all of you clearly it's acetone solvent used and 9 uh, days it requires and yield is 52 so uh, by reading literature i decided why not to make some this same similar compound by other way So look, simply water dish a mixture one hour. I tried within two months different trial and error, and finally I got the result. So look through the difference. So yield is six to seven percent, and yield is fifty two percent with uh, traditional method what they are using. So my professor is very happy, and I continued there two years. So I got yield also in less time, and water and dish is the solvent. This is one of the good achievement. Uh, i was doing research there so what i did i did different uh, series of ionic liquids and make the composites of this pla what is the composites composites means uh, it having the some uh, good property or different property than its original materials i added ionic liquids different concentrations different weight percents and uh, we can make the film of this composite on the petri dish and we can easily remove it's inverted uh, one tube you can see here this material is uh, very hard that is confirmation of synthesis it is not viscous if it is viscous it will come polymer not form so these are the composite i prepare and with this uh, help i made some uh, skin tolerance materials when they made and i was a part of that for the ionic liquids so i got very uh, good research publications in my uh, research career it is uh, in acs it's having impact factor more than 7 you can check out it's very uh, I, i was very happy so let's uh, how to study this degradation method we can uh, study by uh, morphological changes that is swelling deformation bubbling disappearance weight loss thermal behavior that is difference scanning colorimetry one of the speaker previous my friend that is dr uh, mahendra he explained tga tga also there's very important role to study the degradations and very important the molecular weight changes so i can uh, use this technique different techniques to study the degradations and this infrared spectroscopy uh, nmr spectroscopy to uh, detect the protons whether protons in group presence or not so these techniques are used to determine the polymer is undergo degradation or not so this is one of the uh, one method that is cpc or uh, we can say size extrusion chromatography so this is used i will tell you the what this technique do it will help to give the molecular weight of the compound whether it is low molecular weight or high molecular weight so what is the important if my polymer is high molecular weight so i can use for different purpose now you can see this our uh, cpu or uh, laptop frame it is very hard and cover of this mobile is flexible so this flexible means has low molecular weight and this little tough general in terms it is high molecular weight so with this help of gpc i can get the different desired molecular weight and i can decide whether we have to process for this applications or not so this is one of the very important technique to determine the molecular weight of any polymers what happen to this uh, instrument uh, in this instrument during uh, analysis you have to make the solutions 5 mg per ml or per 2 ml or to inject the solutions and uh, inside this uh, instrument there is uh, different columns of styrene dienyl benzene and it will come out the uh, solutions having the 
uh, I can say the based on the size. So we have the different molecular polymers. So this is one of the results which I have prepared the polymers and you can see the temperature 200 and 75,000 the molecular weight. It is high molecular weight. So new catalyst I am made and uh, by this techniques I get the 75,000 molecular weight. So what is what is this another figure? So you can see this and uh, make imagine some dots are you are looking but these are not dots. These are some nanoparticles. So what I did I uh, mixed some uh, clay with different percentage and with the help of some chlorinated solvent I just room temperature for longer time and I dried it and check the uh, transmission electron microscopy I get the uh, different size of nanoparticles so we know this world is of nano we can use this nanoparticles in the different field especially for the medical fields now so look this is the electrospinning method specially used to make the fibers now why fibers so look fibers having high surface area we can insert any drug there if we got the surface area we have something space we can attach some material there with this help of electrospinning technique i can able to make the good fibers of this pla that is polylactide which i prepared the left side figure indicates it's a uh, fiber size not uniform you can see this some uh, bigger size some smaller size right hand side you can see the uniform size of fibers so this is possible with the help of some electrospinning techniques so in short electrospinning techniques what is there under the influence of high voltage i am making the mat of polymers mat of polymers with the help of this injected solutions and use that mat for the different purpose in the biomedical applications by changing simple parameters needle size distance from the needle to this plate by changing voltage we can measure desired fibers size so this example with azithromycin and without azithromycin i get very good result now this uh, thermogrammetric analysis and this uh, dsc these two techniques are used to determine the polymer stability and your glass transition temperatures and your uh, melting temperatures so what happened uh, in the dsc so there are two places where we can put the reference pan and sample pan and we are hitting the two pans with the same rate those having the sample pan it absorbs the heat more and it gives the heat difference and you can determine this material needs more heat by comparing some standard reference we will get the peak of different melting temperature and different glass tension temperatures so this is the tga curve and this is the instrument dsc this is some automatic machines we can keep one time at least 200 sample per uh, program once set the program it will uh, go for the one day or two day and it will give the results this new uh, modern techniques so with this uh, dsc result i am able to make the polymers having glass tension temperature 47 and 143 now let me tell you the concept of glass tension temperature the glass tension temperature it is a temperature uh, below which polymeric molecule uh, polymeric material become uh, hard and above that it become flexible now you can imagine the polyethylene bags at room temperature it is very flexible right but having the glass tension temperature it's minus i want to make i want to make this biodegradable polymers room temperature it should be flexible but this glass tension temperature reported up to uh, 58 or 60 degree but i am able to make with 47 degree uh, glass tension temperature become i make this material little flexible during my research and uh, 
this is possible with the help of new catalyst which i shown in the previous slides now these are the curve the nature of curve how i am getting you can see this region this region indicates the uh, glass transition temperature now this is the another type of polyester which is biodegradable that is lactide and glycolide so this is a copolymers so why i made this when i think lactide properties and glycolide properties okay individually it have different uh, different properties but when i make together when i make together it shows different properties so look what's the properties there so more hydrophilic backbone hydrophilic water attractant more hydrophilic end group what is the terminal we can decide whether polymer is live or dead from the end groups more reactive hydrolytic groups in the backbone less crystalline more porosity smaller device so this i study the degradations if you see the graph maybe you just observe the value molecular weight here from 75000 to 22000 so for this purpose what i did i made a different uh, compost from the domestic waste uh, some dry leaves some uh, dung some soil and some moisture and i make one strip 1 cm by 1 cm of pla and kept inside that and just observe what will happen so there are different technique to check the degradability but this what i thought and this works so look in when i kept its molecular weight is 75000 and melting temperature 171 and this pla 1 2 to the same material but different durations so look 10 days 20 days 48 days what happens you observe this 25000 molecular weight 63000 molecular weight 36 and 22 the melting temperature also is a, a good result from decrease from 171 to 162 means whatever materials i prepare so that undergo degradations with the help of the study which i made now is surface morphology that i can check this you can see the different pore size i studied the last materials so this pla1 is 75000 so before degradations at 0 uh, days and this last uh, uh, pla31 is the uh, same image after uh, my experiment that is it undergo degradations and it go more structures now look this this has material some uh, very important applications to human life if you see our skeleton you can uh, see the where we can use this Uh, biodegradable specifically for this pla there are some others but pla materials we can use pound management suture staples clips adhesive some orthopedic pins rods screw dental applications and drug delivery applications now look <clears throat> as i told you this chemistry of this uh, monomer it having the uh, two isomer stereo isomers l and d is crystalline materials glass transition temperature is 50 to 59 and melting temperature is up to 184 so what i what i am trying to tell you this material has very good biodegradability good compatibility and good mechanical property so we can use in the different fields drug carrier orthopedics tissue engineering facial structure if something happens in accident Now see, this is the uh, one another material from the literature. It's very interesting material. I want to tell you. So this is a, a dye block copolymers. Dye block means uh, we can using one materials and other materials in the form of block. This NH two have <laughs> indeed one materials amino group, and this anhydride having this NH group that is aspartyl benz uh, benz anhydride and other materials. I am making the good materials. See. is having the two terminals amino group and carboxylic this called as amphiphilic structures so what this amphiphilic <laughs> segment helps if i change the proportion of this while making it gives the very uh, good nanoparticle size which 
uh, nanoparticle size of this material is 10 nanometers and by varying the compositions of one of the uh, monomer while synthesizing this. So this is star shaped PLA having multiple hydroxy group as a co-initiator and it is tried with the different initiator. But this penta erythro trial, I got the star shaped materials and having the nanoparticle size uh, in a desired range for the medical applications by using some methyl acetate uh, precipitation methods. So, and centrifuge methods, I am able to get this uh, nanoparticles. Very important is here. So, look, the nanoparticle size is 50 nanometer and blood cells are uh, 7 to 10 micrometers. So, means what happens? Well, you can think the size. I can inject the, uh, this nanoparticles to inside my body and it will uh, go to the bloodstream and whenever infection is there, it will cure. So very interesting materials and nanoparticle size. So this one of the device having the layers of polylactide glycolides and which is used to cure the uh, treatment or uh, cancer. Now this is the scaffold. The scaffold uh, made from uh, the, the final ultimate results of this is very rigid and hard materials. So this tricalcium, phosphate, calcium carbonate and TiO2 is coated, coated with the help of this polylactide and polyglycolide. This is outer side and this is used as a, a bone proteins. Whenever there is some problems of bones, so this, this we can uh, use uh, to uh, as a bone proteins or uh, targeted uh, growth factor as a uh, microparticles. Now, so this is another copolymer with the caprolactones. So having molecular weight 1000 uh, and glass tension temperature range is 20 to 250, uh, 20 to 25. It's as a, again, it's a flexible method. This tried with a different alcohol, but this pentra erythro trial use so very uh, good compatibility. Now you can see our skin is very flexible, right? And I want to make uh, material to uh, cure some infection on my skin. My material should also flexible. So what happened with the help of this Cheetosun 30% is one of the uh, biomaterials and this uh, glycolide copolymers and I get the very good feel and tested with the uh, drug release of different percentage from 0 to 10 percent, uh, not 0 to 10 percent, 1 to 10 percent and with 5 percent, it will release tetracycline hydrochloride as a good release result out of this film of this biomaterials. Now see, this is one of the another application, intraocular drug delivery systems. So sometimes we face uh, this problem to our eyes also, a redness, but this is the uh, figure of uh, mouse that uh, now microspheres we can prepare with the help of this uh, DL lactide polymers and this methoxy ester diol. So I get some spare and uh, that spare I can uh, inject uh, to the uh, redness uh, of eyes of mouse and it can cure within a one week. So look such a wonderful and uh, good materials uh, this PLA. We can use this PLA for the uh, stabilization of uh, fracture, bone, grafting of reattachment of ligand, tendons. So this, these are the terms related to our bones and we can usually uh, re replace some metal part to join the bone with the help of this uh, material that is polylactide and polyglycolides. Uh, so this, this is the uh, whenever problem for the ankle joint. So look, this polylactide glycolide materials are used uh, one to one, but polybutylene trephthalate, if I prepare instead of glycolides, so this material is helps to cure the disease that is a syndosmatic uh, astrochondral defects. So these defects are related to our some bones, bone specialist may know in detail, but this cure with the help of this uh, material, polymeric material, polybutylene, because it having, it may be some certain strength. So ankle joint and these bones, we need the strength. So maybe this because of this rigid ring, 
it reduces the strain to this polymers now see our bone needs calcium so uh, if i made some uh, composite mixture of calcium containing compound and use this fracture of bones we can recover uh, bone repair we can repair the bone with the help of this uh, polycaprolactam molecule weight 43000 gram per bone with the help of this calcium phosphate so look how wonderful materials now this sometimes this materials also uh, we can prepare a uh, three dimensional scaffold and uh, use for the treatment of nerve or spinal cord injury for the uh, medical applications now as i described this uh, already we discussed uh, gel now we uh, when we are pain in body we are using sometimes gel also so night uh, right now valuni gels or some others uh, mcure company making the gels to cure the heel pain upper body so similarly we can make the antibacterial hydrogel also uh, to apply on the skin also uh, with the help of this hydronic acids and this pla uh, activated with the uh, some uh, heterocyclic compound so these are the bone plates i uh, discussed 80% uh, pla and ecoflix 20% materials so you can use uh, this in the uh, bone also so this is the another uh, extract of olive leaf so if simply apply in the pla film and use as a antimicrobial agent uh, for the streptococcus aureus bacterial strain maybe some kind of bacteria which create the problem for us so this can uh, helps to cure the uh, disease now look this is the stent stent uh, maybe uh, most of the us uh, we heard about the uh, dialysis surgery or using some stent okay that stent we can you uh, make this material so uh, this uh, is a um, zoom uh, image but i want to show the small video so whenever there is a blood cho blood choking or some blood pressures uh, some patients undergo heart attack due to the blockage of blood drugs uh, so this if we use this stent made from polylactic acid biodegradables so we can cure that uh, the pain so uh, i will play one video hope uh, i will play hope it is visible uh, just a minute uh, i will open it a minute uh ah, i think that it's open uh such so visible uh video small video yes sir yes yes yes, yes it is visible sir okay i will play two times so i will explain it. so look so what happens yellow part is of uh sir, 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 uh, sir please Sorry for sorry for disturbing, sir. Uh, sir, it is not uh, visible. It is only blue uh, displays uh, on screen. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I will skip that video. I um, mean, not video. I, I, I want to tell you, uh, within our bloodstream, this blockage is there. So we can inject that uh, stent uh, to the body. and that diameter becomes of nerves uh, blood cells increases uh, uh, sorry the path and it will release to flow the blood so that i want to tell you increase the and this will remain inside the body so this will not no need to remove the stent so automatically for metabolic process uh, it uh, undergoes uh, and it went out of our body so this very good materials for the uh, stent that i am i want to show you so uh so as a uh, research uh, during my research i published the research uh, work in asia's journal of applied microbiology international journal of chemistry and international there is uh, different journals we can see it here so i attended the conference during my conference i got one of the best post presentations and i held some conference at my college levels so co coordinator of uh, uh, me and uh, if you see this figures uh, pictures so i am very lucky that i got to uh, coincidence with the various research people from the world 
that is from uh, Italy, from Germany, America. I was there in group, and this uh, my research group uh, in Brazil. That's uh, I am with my boss. That is Professor Henry Sikar. Because of that, I went there. I went with my family, and this is my Portuguese class uh, group. I can speak Portuguese uh, now uh, very well. So when I was Brazil, I learned Portuguese within three months. I don't know how, but I can speak Portuguese now. So I am lucky to have such groups. And finally, uh, thank you to uh, all of you, especially given permission by Principal Sir Dr. Sunil Thakre from my college, our General Secretary Pramila Tai Gaikwad, and from your side, Dr. Madhurao Sir said it's very good, uh, nice talk given by him. Is I thankful to him also, and thank you very much for inviting me, Digambara Bindu College. And Professor uh, Gajanan Kotakale, uh, uh, special thank for him. So thank you very much. If any have problem, so I am most welcome to all of you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for a nice presentation. Uh, if the participant have uh, any query uh, on the say topic, uh, they can ask to the resource person. If the participant have any question, uh, they can raise their hand so we can unmute them. I think that uh, topic is uh, all clear. And uh, now we are moving toward the concluding part of uh, the session. and. Kotapalli sir, over to you. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Now I request to Dr. Prashant Tawde, sir, to cast a vote of thanks for Shadukar, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, all, all of you. On the behalf of the Department of Chemistry, Digambar Bindu, Arts, Commerce and Science College broker, I, Dr. Prashant Tawde, would like to thank our keynote speaker, Dr. Balaji Sidram Selukar sir, giving such a wonderful and informative session on the topic synthesis and characterization and application of biodegradable polymers. We all enjoy a lot of lot your session, sir. Thank you once again, Dr. Selukar sir. sir. Now I hand over the session to Venkate Jadu. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Taude, sir. And thank you also, Dr. Balaji Selukar, sir, for giving time for us and delivering a very nice lecture on biodegradable polymer. Now, I request to uh, Mr. Venkate Jadav, sir, to introduce the technical session third. Venkata Jadav, sir. Sir, you can unmute for a time. Sir, please unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. So, good afternoon to one and all. I am here in third session of this national level webinar to introduce Dr. Rajeshri Ajay Markandevar, Madam. So, first of all, I would like to uh, focus his academic, academic career. So, he has done uh, MSc, MPhil, PhD in organic chemistry as a specialization and published 11 international papers in very reputed journals as it is highlighting his research career he has also she has also presented papers in national and international conferences in field of chemistry and she she is a uh, having very good training career and jci career trainer national level trainer uh, certified coach uh, with uh, this uh, 
a strong academic and research uh, biodata i would also like to focus on her uh, award and recognition so she is recognized for other shikshika puraskar by Mah maharashtra state savitribai phule samiti she is also awarded with samaj bhushan award by maharashtra kumbhar samaj mahasangh mumbai she is also awarded with prestigious samaj gaurav award by akhil bharatiya prajapati sangh and scholar search academy with this she is also awarded by uh, sunil ji tatkare the minister of state for best employee in bit balar balapur so with this a very uh, we can say strong and uh, by data which is making a participant to enthusiast to attend her presentation so in this webinar specifically she is focusing on the topic uh, given that rise and shine so i request uh, dr uh, rajeshri markande war madam to start his presentation thank you so much sir for uh, this wonderful introduction of your mind thank you first okay. of all i would like to uh, thank uh, principal dr chauhan sir the convener dr gajanan kotpalle sir for uh, giving me an honor to address the students on this one day national e webinar on advances in chemical sciences for better future to uh, 2022 azadi ka amrit mahotsav Uh, sir, uh, I request uh, Gajanan sir to please share the slide. I have some technical issues. I am not able to join through the laptop. Uh, I hope it is uh, okay for you. Arrange on, sir. So, Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav, as the respected honourable chairman, sir, Dr. Kinhalkar, sir, he stated the vision behind this event. Uh, i am pretty much sure all the students and everyone are comfortable with marathi as well as english so if we want to continue this session we all need to be very active i i assure you that i won't be taking much of your time but whatever the time we give today that will be valuable and that will have some change in all of us so i want to see your participation in the chat box so are you all ready if you are ready just you can type why why yes 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 in the chat box i would be happy to see how many yes are there yes the i can see okay dhanush is saying i want all the students uh, to actively participate because this is all about you when we say better future jab hum apan mantu ki ek better future we all think of something very nice and something very good better future matlab apan asa kadhi swichar karat nahi ki je ahe tyacha peksha kami asavo we all want that whatever is there we should have more better than that and for that is our today's session that is rise and shine because when you will be rising then you can shine and then you will be different in each and every field here are our students in a class there are 70 80 students how many of them does we remember i can ask you all like for example remember your school school friends how many of you still remember all of your school friends or how many school friends do you remember do you remember all of them or you remember a few particular one we generally remember few of them who are either very um, clever topper or the one who are into them yes we remember few of them and the reason 
yeah those who are either topper or those who are active in all of these activities we also remember the one who are backbenchers so we can move to the next slide please and when we remember those person there is something in that which makes them different and we remember them so today all i want that you should be that someone different something different that you will be remembered and you will be different in the crowd so all you want to stand out in the crowd sagyanna eka gardi madhe apli vegli olakh nirman karaychi hai sagyanna asa vatta ki mi lokanni mala lakshat thevavo mi vegla asa majha ek astitva nirman karavo to purche 20 25 minute ase sagye tumhala tya sathi jayche सो तुम्हाला किती जणांना असं वाटतं की नाही माझं काहीतरी एक वेगळं अस्तित्व असावं मी एक वेगळं काहीतरी माझी ओळख निर्माण व्हावी किती जणांना असं वाटतं यू कॅन से येस 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 देर ओके चलो फ्यू स्टुडंट्स येस दे से ओके दे से दॅट येस आय वॉन्ट टू डू दिस व्हेरी नाईस अँड दिस इज वेअर इट स्टार्ट ऑल वर्किंग सर कॅन यू प्लीज चेंज द स्लाइड आजच्या आपल्या ह्याच्या सेमिनारची सुरुवात जी आहे ती मी एका छोट्याशा स्टोरीने करते ही स्टोरी जी आहे ही सुरुवात होते नेक्स्ट स्लाईड प्लीज ही स्टोरी जी आहे ही सुरुवात होते न्यूयॉर्क मध्ये एका शहरामध्ये जिथे मारिया नावाची एक कॉलेज मुलगी असते कॉलेज मुलगी ही साधारण असते दिसणारी ती नेहमी आपल्या कॉलेजमध्ये जाते अभ्यासातही साधारण असते आणि कधीच तिला कुणी फारस बोलत किंवा ओळखत नसत ती रोज आपल्या कॉलेजला जाते घरी येत असते एक दिवस ती जेव्हा आपल्या कॉलेज मधन कॉलेज मध्ये जात असते तिथे न्यूयॉर्क मध्ये एक हॅट च नवीन दुकान लागलेलं असत तिला हॅट ची आवड असते म्हणून ती त्या दुकानात जाते तिथे दुकानात ती बरेचसे हॅट पाहते आणि मग तिला एक हॅट जी आहे ती आवडते ती एक हॅट ती घालून ट्राय करते जशी ती घालून पाहत असते आरशामध्ये एक छोटीशी मुलगी येते आणि ती आपल्या मम्मीला म्हणते की मम्मी ती पहा ती ताई किती सुंदर दिसत आहे आणि जेव्हा ती मुलगी मारिया पाहते की मला खरंच ही हॅट छान दिसत आहे ती लेडी सुद्धा म्हणते की येस दिस हॅट इज लुकिंग व्हेरी नाईस ऑन यू तो शॉपकीपर सुद्धा म्हणते येस मॅम कीप दिस हॅट यू आर लुकिंग ऑसम इन टू दिस अँड देन मारिया फील्स स्टनिंग तिला इतकं छान वाटतं स्वतः बद्दल की ती म्हणते येस मी ही हॅट घेणार आणि मग ती ते दुकानदाराला पैसे देते आणि तिथनं निघते जेव्हा ती त्या रोजच्याच रस्त्याने जात असते आज तिला असं जाणवत की बरेचसे लोक तिच्याकडे बघतायत ती पण त्यांना स्माईल देते आणि ती क्लास मध्ये जाते जेव्हा ती क्लास मध्ये जाते तिचे फ्रेंड्स म्हणतात की मारिया टुडे यू आर लुकिंग व्हेरी नाईस यू आर लुकिंग ऑसम त्या दिवशी त्यांचे सर सुद्धा की देर इज समथिंग डिफरंट टुडे इन मारिया मारिया खूप खुश होते मग ती विचार करते की आजचा दिवस तर खूप छान गेलेला आहे आज मी टॅक्सीने घरी जाईल मग ती टॅक्सीने घरी जाते आणि जशी ती दरवाजा तिची बेल वाजवते तिची आई दरवाजा उघडते जेव्हा तिची आई दरवाजा उघडते ते म्हणते मारिया काय स्पेशल आहे आज तू खूपच छान वाटत आहेस ती म्हणते मम्मा स्पेशल ही जी आहे ना माझी हॅट ती स्पेशल आहे आणि जेव्हा ती असं डोक्याला हात लावते तिला लक्षात येते की वरती तर हॅटच नाहीये तिची मम्मी विचारते कोणती हॅट मारिया विचार करायला लागते अरे हॅट तर होती ना माझ्या डोक्यावर आणि मग ती विचार करायला लागते की अरे मी कुठेतरी हॅट विसरले मग ती धावत धावत जी आहे ती परत जाते ती टॅक्सीवाल्याला शोधते ती कॉलेजमध्ये जाते सगळीकडे शोधाशोध सुरू करते पण तिला ती हॅट कुठेच भेटत नाही शेवटी जेव्हा ती रिटर्न येत असते तो हॅटचं दुकानदार तिला आवाज देतो आणि म्हणतो की मारिया मारिया तुझी हॅट इथेच आहे म्हणजे सकाळी जी हॅट जी ती घालत होती पैसे देताना ती हॅट तिथेच तिने ठेवली आणि जेव्हा ती हॅट तिथेच राहिली पण तरी सुद्धा तो जो दिवस होता तो मारियासाठी डिफरंट होता आता तुम्ही विचार करा कशामुळे तो डिफरंट असेल एनी वन यू कॅन टाईप इन द चॅट बॉक्स की त्या दिवशी ती एवढी वेगळी का वाटत होती त्या दिवशी ती एवढी खुश का होती किंवा त्या दिवशी सगळ्यांनी तिला कॉम्प्लिमेंट का केलं हॅट तर तिच्याजवळ नव्हतीच असं काय होत येस आखाडे सोहम हॅज सेड व्हेरी करेक्टली हर इनर कॉन्फिडन्स बिकॉज शी हॅड दॅट इनर अप्रिसिएशन येस हर इनर थिंग हर इनर लाईट तिच्या मधला असलेला जो कॉन्फिडन्स होता तो त्या दिवशी चमकून बाहेर आला ते कारण होतं एक छोटीशी हॅट पण तिचा जो कॉन्फिडन्स बाहेर आला 
त्यामुळे त्या दिवशी मारिया जी आहे ती वेगळी दिसू लागली आणि ही जे इनर कॉन्फिडन्स आपल्यामध्ये असतो सर नेक्स्ट स्लाईड प्लीज तो जो आहे तो आपल्याला चमकवतो वेगळं बनवतो आणि मग आपण स्टँड आउट करतो पूर्ण भीड मध्ये क्राऊड मध्ये सगळ्यांनी जुगणू पाहिलेला आहे काजवा ज्याला आपण म्हणतो तो जुगणू किंवा काजवा जो आहे कितीही अंधार असू दे त्याच्यामध्ये आपला छोटीशी चमक जेव्हा तो देतो तो नक्कीच नोटिसेबल होऊन जातो नो अमाऊंट कॅन ऑफ डार्कनेस कॅन हाईड द स्पार्क ऑफ ए लाईट कितीही मोठी रूम असो कितीही मोठं घर असो एक छोटीशी कॅन्डल एक छोटीशी वाट किंवा एक छोटीशी माचिसची काडी जी आहे ती त्या अंधाराला जे आहे ते दूर करते आणि जे लाईट ज्याला आपण म्हणतो प्रकाश करतो तसंच आपल्यामध्ये सुद्धा छोटेसे जे पण पॉझिटिव्ह गुण असतील छोट्याशा ज्या गोष्टी असतील आपल्या पर्सनॅलिटी जी छोटीशी स्पार्क असेल ती आपल्याला इतरांपेक्षा जे आहे ते वेगळं करण्यासाठी मदत करते फर्स्ट थिंग स्पार्क जेव्हा आपण म्हणतो तर सगळ्यांना माहितीये की स्पार्क जे आहे वी आर ऑल टेक्निकल स्टुडंट्स जसं गाडी स्टार्ट करण्यासाठी एक छोटासा स्पार्क प्लग पासून सुरुवात होते अँड देन युअर इंजिन स्टार्ट रोलिंग तसंच आपल्यामध्ये एक छोट्याशा स्पार्कची जर आपण सुरुवात केली दॅट goes on to a big success in the next future the haja spark ahe hacha mi kai different analysis kelele we will see in the next slide next slide please spark it has an acronym of smile passion attitude reinvention and knowledge vatayla he shabda khup sope vatat kiwa khup mothe ase vatat pan pratyek shabda cha je ahe किंवा प्रत्येक ह्याचं एक वेगळं इम्पॉर्टन्स आपल्या लाईफमध्ये आहे आणि हे जे वेगळं इम्पॉर्टन्स आहे दॅट मेक्स यू टू स्टँड आउट इन द क्राऊड आता नेक्स्ट स्लाईड मध्ये एक तुम्हाला पिक्चर दिसेल नेक्स्ट स्लाईड प्लीज हे सगळ्यांना माहितीये ही कोण आहे ही मोनालिस आहे आणि ही पेंटिंग खूप फेमस झालेली काय असं स्पेशल होत या पेंटिंग मध्ये वॉट वॉज अ स्पेशल इन दिस पेंटिंग एनी वन कॅन से या पेंटिंगची स्पेशल काय होती स्पेशालिटी काय होती तो पेंटर ही मोना लिसा वॉट वॉज स्पेशल येस विक्की इट वॉज द स्माईल मोना लिसा ही तीन मुलांची आई असलेली एक साधारण महिला होती पेंटरनी तिचं इतकं सुंदर असं चित्रण केलं आणि ह्याच्यात जी स्माईल ऑफ मोना लिसा होती दॅट मेड दिस पेंटिंग व्हेरी फेमस नेक्स्ट स्लाईड प्लीज स्माईल ही जी आहे प्रत्येक माणसाच्या पर्सनॅलिटीचा एक असा अविभाज्य भाग आहे दॅट मेक्स यू अट्रॅक्टिव्ह वेन यू आर अ स्माइलिंग पर्सनॅलिटी इट शोज दॅट यू आर हॅपी यू आर अट्रॅक्टिव्ह अँड स्माईल हॅज युनिव्हर्सल लँग्वेज व्हॉट एव्हर द रूम मे बी व्हॉट एव्हर द लँग्वेज मे बी व्हॉट एव्हर द प्लेस मे बी इफ यू आर स्माइलिंग इट मीन्स दॅट यू हॅव अ प्लेझिंग पर्सनॅलिटी and smiling does not only offers mood but it also helps us chemical cortisol and endorphins he takes reward mechanism enzymes ahet je aplyala chocolate khallyamule aananda dete kiwa ekhadi aavadti gosht apan jeva karto teva aananda deta jo tumhala hacha ek simple example atta cha atta pahaycha asel tumhala jari atta smile yet nasel तरीही जर समजा तुम्ही स्माईल करण्याचा प्रयत्न केला यू विल फील हॅपी आणि ही जी स्माईल आहे ही कंटेजियस असते कंटेजियस म्हणजे एकापासून दुसऱ्यांना जे आहे ती लागायला सुरुवात होते आणि म्हणून जेव्हा तुम्ही स्माईल करता तर ऑटोमॅटिकली जे बाहेरचा माणूस आहे ही गेट्स अट्रॅक्टेड टुवर्ड्स यू अँड इवन इन बॅड मूड वी इफ वी ट्राय टू स्माईल वी फील हॅपी and that happiness that smile goes on to other person and even jehvahi when we are into a public figure if you smile you get your personality to the uh, familiar to the other person next slide please when i say smile that person is very very happy and happy it also comes with when you are passionate about your passion man the लोकांनी ह्या शब्दाला इतकं वेगळं स्वरूप दिलेलं आहे बट इन सिम्पल अँड स्मॉल रिअल लाईफ आय वुड से एक स्ट्रॉंग डिझायर आपल्याला एक अशी कोणती गोष्ट जी आपल्याला करावं वाटते 
फॉर एक्झाम्पल मला पेंटिंग आवडतं इथे असे बरेचसे जण असतील ज्यांना कोणाला स्पोर्ट्स आवडतात कुणाला गाणं म्हणणं आवडतं कुणाला डान्स करणं आवडतं आणि पॅशन ही अशी गोष्ट आहे की तुम्ही त्या दिवशी थकलेले असाल तुम्हाला कंटाळा आला असेल पण जरी समजा कुणी म्हंटल तुम्हाला की चलो डान्स करणं आहे तर यू आर अ टेडी असे बरेचसे लोक असतात ज्यांना गाण्याचा एखादा छंद किंवा जे कोणत्या त्यांची हॉबीज आहेत ते हॉबीज करण्यासाठी कितीही वेळ लागत असेल कितीही लेट होत असेल तरीही सुद्धा ते जे आहे ते पॅशन फॉलो करतात आणि आपल्या लाईफ मध्ये असं कोणतं पॅशन आहे हे जर तुम्ही फाइंड आउट केलं आणि त्याच्यावर जर समजा तुम्ही काम करू लागले तर दॅट विल एनहान्स युअर पर्सनॅलिटी फक्त अभ्यास किंवा फक्त आपलं करिअर दिस इज नॉट द ओनली वे टू लिव्ह टू सर्वाइव टू स्टँड आउटसाइड इन द क्राऊड अपार्ट फ्रॉम युअर करिअर अपार्ट फ्रॉम युअर डे टू डे लाईफ काय असं वेगळं आपण करता दॅट डिटरमाइन्स युअर पर्सनॅलिटी आणि जेव्हा तुम्ही हे जे पॅशनेट असाल मग आज एवढे सारे लोक असतात आज एवढे सारे केमिस्ट्री फील्ड मध्ये जस एक एक्झाम्पल वेन वी आर हॅव्हिंग सो मेनी ऑफ रिसोर्स पर्सन वाय फ्यू आर सिलेक्टेड वाय फ्यू पीपल आर टेकन बिकॉज दे वर्क पॅशनेटली मग कोणी त्यांच्या रिसर्च मध्ये तेवढं मन लावून काम करतं कोणी त्यांच्या अभ्यासाच्या क्षेत्रामध्ये मन लावून काम करत आणि मग आपल्याला दिसतं की त्यामधून ते लोक जे आहेत दे गेट एलिव्हेटेड त्यांचं स्तर जे आहे त्यांचा लेवल जे आहे तो वरती जायला लागतो वाय बिकॉज दे आर पॅशनेट पॅशन तुम्ही कोणत्याही यू कॅन हॅव फॉर युअर वर्क यू कॅन हॅव फॉर युअर हॉबीज यू कॅन हॅव फॉर युअर करिअर यू कॅन हॅव फॉर युअर ओन जॉय एनिथिंग बट वेन यू हॅव दॅट पॅशन इट इन्स्पायर्स यू इट ड्राईव्स यू टू मेक समथिंग इनक्रेडिबल सो वेन एव्हर वी हॅव पॅशन फॉर अ सर्टन वर्क वी आर एन्थुझियास्टिक टुवर्ड्स इट तुम्ही फक्त विचार करा तुम्हाला कोणती गोष्ट आवडते जी गोष्ट तुम्हाला आवडते ती तुम्ही किती छानपणे करता आणि जी गोष्ट तुम्हाला आवडत नाही ती करता मी आपण साधारण ह्याच्याने करतो दॅट इज वॉट द डिफरन्स पॅशन मेक्स द नेक्स्ट लाईफ प्लीज वेन एव्हरी थिंग्स आर गोईंग नॉर्मल जेव्हा सगळं काही सर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज जेव्हा प्रत्येक गोष्ट ही नॉर्मली सुरू असते लाईफ एकदम स्मूथ असते पण जेव्हा एखादा सेटबॅक येतो जेव्हा एखादा सेटबॅक येतो जेव्हा एखादा अपयश येत त्यावेळेस काय होत इथे जेवढे आहेत आय वुड लाईक जेव्हा एखादं अपयश आपल्याला येत जेव्हा आपल्याला एखादा सेटबॅक येतो त्यावेळेस काय मेंटॅलिटी राहते आपण काय करतो कुणी एक जण सांगू आयदर यू कॅन अनमूट युअर सेल्फ और यू कॅन टाईप इन द चॅट बॉक्स सगळं जेव्हा स्मूथ असेल लाईफ तेव्हा काहीही कोणताही आपल्या ऍटिट्यूडचा प्रॉब्लेम येत नाही पण ज्या वेळेस काही सेटबॅक असतील काही थोडस कमी जास्त व्हायला लागलं असेल अशा वेळेस आपला ओके धनश्री सेस यू जस्ट नीड अ टाइम टू गेट ओव्हर इट व्हेरी गुड अगेन अँगर येस वी हॅव दॅट फ्रस्ट्रेशन डिप्रेशन हे माझ्या क्षणी होणारच नाही मला हे करायचंच नाही मी हे करणारच नाही हे सोडून देणार बरेचदा असं होत असते की परीक्षा असो अभ्यास असो करिअर असो किंवा आपल्या लाईफ मध्ये कोणत्याही घटना होत असतील आवर ऍटिट्यूड मॅटर्स अ लॉट जनरली जेव्हा सगळं छान सुरू असेल आपला ऍटिट्यूड हा राहतो पण ज्या वेळेस एखादी गोष्ट ही आपल्या मनाविरुद्ध होते ही सक्सेसफुल होत नाही किंवा ही काहीतरी निगेटिव्ह याच्यामध्ये जाते त्यावेळेस आपला रिस्पॉन्स कसा असेल दॅट इज वॉट द रिअल ऍटिट्यूड इज फॉर मेनी सेटबॅक्स मे बी प्रिटी फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग जसं एनी म्हटलं अँगर इव्हन डिवास्टेटिंग कोणी सोडूनच देतं की आता याच्यानंतर मी करणारच नाही पण जेव्हा तुम्ही विचारायला लागता की नाव वॉट आता काय करायचं दीज पीपल असे जेव्हा तुमच्यामध्ये विचार येईल की आता काय करायचं तेव्हा आपण एखादा मार्ग शोधायला सुरुवात करतो जेव्हा मॅक्सिमम जण स्टॉप करतात माझ्या ज्याने होत नाही मी हे करणार नाही तेव्हा जर आता आपण काय करायचं असा विचार करून एखादा मार्ग शोधू लागतो वी कीप ऑन पुशिंग अवर सेल्फ दॅट इज द बेस्ट ऍटिट्यूड 
खुद को भी मतलब मेरे को बहुत एटीट्यूड है इसको बहुत एटीट्यूड है ये कौन से एटीट्यूड काम अच्छे नहीं है बोलने से एटीट्यूड दाखोने से एटीट्यूड ऑल दीज एटीट्यूड आर नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट कोटीट्यूड सग बेस्ट है कि जेव अपने लाइफ मध्य सेटबैक्स होता जेव एखा निगेटिव इम्पैक्ट अपने हो स्वतः क्वेश्चन विचारले कि वॉट नेक्स्ट आता का बेस्ट एटीट्यूड नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर सग स्मार्टफोन मोबाइल फोन व्हाट्सअप सगे है एक फीचर है जे मैं सगे कि अपडेट कराए कि जन अपडेट करता आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यस 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 वाय तुम्हें लिखू शकता तुम्हारे जे ही फीचर्स आते तुम्हें किसी जन है जे नेह अपट करता ओके यस धनश्री सी से प्राजक्ता से यस अभिषेक रोहन सो मेनी यस शिंदे अखाड़े यस एवरी वन इज सेस अपन अपने मोबाइल मध्य कि कम्प्यूटर लैपटॉप मध्य जे ही गैजेट आते अपडेट च वर्जन आल कि फटाफट 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 अपडेट कराए लगते अपने सगत कि येस इट इज वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट का इम्पॉर्टेंट है कारण की जे अपट के प्रोसेस है एंटायर न्यू होते जे है एडवांस्ड फीचर्स लगते मग अपन खूब चांगल पद्धति ने जे है चालू शको आता तो बना को अपने इतक अपडेट कर चंद्रपुर इधे बसले तुम्हें भोकर इधे आहत कि वेगवेग् प्लेसेस पास आहत ऑल ओवर इंडिया अपन सगे जन एकमेक भेट बिकॉज वी हेव अपेटेड अवर से हिच गोष जेव अपन अपने स्वतः अपन स्वतः कि अपडेट अपडेट मे का लेटेस्ट फैशन के कपड़े लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी का मोबाइल दा हजार पंद्रह हजार वीस हजार ऐसी मोबाइल कि लेटेस्ट हे गैजेट्स अपडेट मे मैडि फ्रेंड्स का चांगलाते अपन डेली बेसिस कभी हा विचार कि काल मजे जो पर्सनैलिटी मध्य होते काल मज नॉलेज होते काल मज जो काम करना चीज पद्धत होती प्रोफेसनली मना करीयर मध्य मनापेक्षा मैं आज काल चांगल के जेव अपन अपडेट स्वतः ऑब्विस्ली अपने क्या कुछ बटन नहीं है कि चलो अपडेट कर ऑटो अपडेट अस का ही नहीं पे जर ऑटो अपडेट अपने कराए तो आप रोज एक जर है जे ही काम है फोकस के थोड़स चांगल कर प्रयत्न के आप डेली अपडेट हो इतने मेरा मना कि आपका असली मुकाबला केवल अपने आप से अगर आप आज खुद को अपने बीते हुए कल से बेहतर पाते हैं तो आपकी बड़ी जीत है इधे मैं स्टूडेंट्स एक छोटा सा की संगू इच्छित है कि डेली फक्त वन पेज डेली फक्त वन न्यू थिंग डेली फक्त वन वर्ड पास जरी सुरुआत तो दैट विल एनहांस युअर पावर ऑफ नॉलेज दैट विल कीप यू अपडेटेड जी ही गोष्ट तुम्हारा आवड़ती तुम्हे हॉबीज आसो तुम्हें कॉलेज काम आसू दुम टेक्नोलॉजी सैवी आसू दॉट सो एवर फोटे छोटे जो समझा तुम्हें नवीन का शिकत जा अगर छोट एक वर्ड पास जरी सुरुआत एक पैराग्राफ एक बुक चाहू लगला एक पेज एक बुक चाहू लगला तरी ही तुम्हें अपडेटेड वर्जन रहा एंड ऑल लाइक अपडेटेड वर्जन नोकिया मोबाइल फोन कि कैमेरा कोड एक्ट का मगे रहा कारण कि अपडेटेड नहीं अपने ही उद्या फ्यूचर मध्य जर मगे रहा ना तो वी नीड टू बी अपडेटेड नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज विच इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट एंड टू स्टैंड आउट इन द क्राउड इज द नॉलेज विच यू हैव आज क्लास मध्य जर तुम्हें चुकून बी एस सी साइंस ग्रैजुएट स्टूडेंट चुकून आप इंजीनियरिंग हेल कि मेडिकल क्लासरूम मध्य गलो तिथे जो तुम्हारा प्रश्न विचार तो तुम्हारे पैकी अ जन आती जो स्टैंड आउट होती जेवड़ा केमिस्ट्री च नॉलेज है इतने जर समा केमिस्ट्री के क्वेश्चन विचार बिकॉज वी आर फ्रॉम दैट फील्ड नॉलेज है दैट गिव्स अस पावर टू जज सीच्युएशन जे नॉलेज है 
कॉन्फिडेंट बनवतो ज्याच्यामुळे आपण जे आहे तिथे उभे राहू आय रिक्वेस्ट आय रिक्वेस्ट टू प्लीज म्यूट डिस्टर्बन्स आहे सो नॉलेज हे जे अंडरस्टँडिंग आहे किंवा अवेअरनेस आहे हे आपल्याला सब्जेक्ट बद्दलच नाही आणि आपल्या आसपासच्या ज्या गोष्टी आहेत त्याच्या बद्दलची माहिती ही खूप पावरफुल इथे सगळ्यांनाच आलिया भट्टचं एक्झाम्पल मला द्यावंच वाटतं खूप छान अभिनेत्री खूप दिसायला सुंदर सगळं काही छान होत बट शी वॉज नॉट हॅव्हिंग जनरल नॉलेज आणि तुम्हाला माहितीच आहे की मग इंस्टाग्राम इंटरनेटवर किती तिला ट्रोल करण्यात आले बिकॉज नॉलेज प्लेस अ व्हेरी वाईटल रोल तुम्ही आपल्या कोणत्याही फील्ड मध्ये असाल इफ यू हॅव द नॉलेज यू हॅव द पॉवर आणि हेच जे नॉलेज आहे ते तुम्हाला इतकं इम्पॉर्टंट बनवतं इतकं काय म्हणते डिस्टिंगटिव्ह करतं की यू स्टँड आउट इन द क्राऊड अँड दॅट इज वॉट जेव्हा आपल्याला असं वाटतं की नो आय वॉन्ट टू बी समथिंग डिफरंट मला ह्या गर्दीमध्ये ह्या फील्डमध्ये वेगळं राहायचं आहे तर ऑल यू नीड to have the uh, knowledge yes sir i know and i will be completing it in a very short time so knowledge makes you stand out in the field next slide sir and is as a uh, students lokana everyone has this concept of uh, crash course me it a crash course tumhala sangte ki sagrat mahatvacha aspect aplya personality madhe jaye तो आहे आपली क्रिएटिव्हिटी दिस क्रिएटिव्हिटी ऑल्सो हेल्प्स यू टू स्टँड आउट इन द क्राऊड जसं तुम्ही कोणत्याही गोष्टीचं सर नेक्स्ट स्लाईड प्लीज कोणत्याही गोष्टीचं एक वेगळ्या स्वरूपात आन्सर द्यायला लागतं यू हॅव इट तुम्हाला लगेच लोक ओळखायला सुरुवात करतात जेव्हा आपण एखाद्या प्रॉब्लेमचं वेगळ्या पद्धतीने सोल्युशन काढतो तर नक्कीच हे होतं इथे एक छोटस एक्झाम्पल तुम्हाला दिलेलं आहे पाहूया किती जण सॉल्व्ह करतात ट्वेंटी नाईन मायनस वन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी uh this doesn't have any mathematical derivation and other aspects in simple way how you can solve this just let me know anyone can unmute and tell me yes anyone can unmute and tell me hello ma'am yo patkan sanga kasna sang karta yen after 29 we should uh, know that uh, horizontal line we should put a vertical line on that 29 plus 1 is equal to 30 in my uh, okay my dear but i am sorry you tried very nicely but uh, what i want is that you should remove one from 29 to make it 30 that is what i want good try another one yes that minus 1 from 30 minus 1 नो आय एम व्हेरी क्लिअर ट्वेंटी नाईन मधूनच एक काढायचा आहे आणि त्याला थर्टी करायचा आहे बघूया किती क्रिएटिव्ह आहात तुम्ही किती प्रॉब्लेम सॉल्व्हर आहात तुम्ही किती हुशार आहात तुम्ही आय वॉन्ट टू सी दिस फ्रॉम यू येस एनी वन ओके सर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वर घेऊन जा आय मस्ट से यू हॅव टू डेव्हलप दिस हॅबिट काय आहे हे रोमन अल्फाबेट ट्वेंटी नाईन त्याच्यामधन वन काढून टाकलं तर बी गेट थर्टी सी क्रिएटिव्हिटी किंवा वेगळ्या दृष्टीने विचार करणे ह्या ज्या गोष्टी आहेत ह्या आपल्याला पूर्ण भीड मध्ये स्टँड आउट करते इफ समन वुड हॅव गिव्हन द आन्सर ही वुड हॅव बीन डेफिनेटली स्टँडिंग आउट इन द क्राऊड सर लास्ट स्लाईड नेक्स्ट स्लाईड आणि ही जे सगळ्या गोष्टी आहेत ह्या तुम्हाला लाईट अप करतात शाईन करण्यासाठी इन द आउटर वर्ल्ड सी वी ऑल आर हॅव्हिंग दिस फ्युचर तुम्ही ह्याच्यानंतर ग्रॅज्युएशन कराल आणि ह्याच्यानंतर पुढे आयुष्यामध्ये जे आहे ते एक वेगळ्या फील्ड ऍस्पेक्ट मध्ये जाल वेदर इन बिझनेस प्रोफेशन जॉब सर्व्हिस वॉट सो एव्हर हाऊ यू कॅन बी डिफरंट फ्रॉम अदर्स दीज ऍस्पेक्ट विल मेक यू डिफरंट करोना काळामध्ये मला वाटतं आता ह्याच्यानंतर तुमच्या पर्सेंटेजला व्हॅल्यू राहणार नाही तुमच्या सॉफ्ट स्किल्सला तुमच्या इंटरपर्सनल डेव्हलपमेंटला हे राहणार आहे ह्याच्यानंतर असं होणार आहे की 
ओनली इंटरव्यू बेस्ड जे आहे कॅन्डिडेट सिलेक्शन होणार जाईल आणि अशा वेळेस मग आपण जर समजा स्पार्क आपल्यामध्ये नसेल स्पार्क म्हणजे वेन यू आर नॉट स्माइल वेन यू आर स्माइलिंग वेन यू हॅव दॅट पॅशन वेन यू हॅव दॅट ऍटिट्यूड वेन यू री इन्व्हेंट युअर सेल्फ कंटिन्युअसली अँड वेन यू हॅव अँपल ऑफ नॉलेज ओनली दॅट पर्सन विल बी सक्सिडिंग इन देअर लाईफ अँड सो इफ यू वॉन्ट अ बेटर फ्युचर जे आपल्या आजच्या या ह्याची थीम आहे अ बेटर फ्युचर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू आणि तुम्हा सर्वांसाठी जर एक बेटर फ्युचर इफ वी नीड वी हॅव टू स्पेंड ऑन अवर सेल्फ वी हॅव टू चेंज अवर सेल्फ वी हॅव टू डेव्हलप अवर सेल्फ देन अँड देन ओनली वी विल हॅव अ बेटर फ्युचर आणि जे हा चेंज आहे हे जे सगळ्यात चांगल्या गोष्टी आहेत त्याची सुरुवात जी आहे ती स्वतःपासून जेव्हा आपण करू देन अँड देन ओनली वी विल बी स्पार्कलिंग I wish you all to have a sparkling journey because you all are the shining stars because each and every one has that shining spirit within or her and which will make them special so i request you all uh, to have this shining thing only when you yourself will know how to do it jeva tumhi swata vichar kara ki yes i am a star majha madhe tu aahe तेव्हाच ते जे आहे तुमच्या मधलं स्पार्क हे जग सगळं ओळखेल आणि जग जे आहे ते त्यालाच ओळखते जो भीड मध्ये जो क्राऊड मध्ये एकदम उठून दिसतो सो आय आय से थँक यू टू ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज यू आर दो शायनिंग स्टार्स यू आर द फ्युचर विच वी ऑल आर होपिंग दॅट इन द नियर फ्युचर यू वील प्रोव्हाइड अ बेटर फ्युचर टू ऑल ऑफ अस थँक यू फॉर टू यू सर Thank you sir next slide thank you sir i thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity and now uh, i request all the participants if you have any questions we can take it thank you madam uh, i request participants to uh, this session is open for discussion so anyone can ask any question because uh, madam has covered a very wide range of uh topics in his in her presentation so participant are also requested uh, to ask question by uh, yeah, or they can put their question in chat box to feel free to ask question hey session hey session tumcha sathi ahe je parantu tumhi questions vichar Yes, anybody? Jadav sir, continue. Okay. Students are giving compliments, not asking questions. Okay, so... Uh, They are satisfied. Uh, with this, uh, roughly we can say, uh, students... we are completely understood what madam want to uh, bring chemistry in their life so uh, with this i am uh, again here uh, to thanks our uh, eminent resource person dr rajeshri markandewar madam assistant professor department of chemistry rashtrapita mahatma gandhi college chandrapur so uh, in his wonderful talk madam has focused a very thought provoking day to day life chemistry behind shining of yourself in crowd of your world so specifically she focus some stars in daily life to shine such as smile passion attitude reinvention knowledge creativity this all stars brings a shining of uh, your personality in a crowd so thank you madam for this thought provoking presentation which is really a good chemistry 
be behind uh, personality development so uh, from all organizers conveners and all our team uh, from uh, on behalf of all participants i would like to thank you for this excellent and uh, very needed presentation for students as well as uh, organizers also so thank you madam and thank you organizer for giving me this Absolutely. opportunity so thank you thank you and all thank you very much sir Don't... now we are in the final phase of this one day webinar the valedictory function the i welcome the president of this valedictory function the in charge of our science faculty dr sachin tawde sir the convener of the webinar jd kotapalle sir co convener sachin tiwde sir joint organizing organizing secretary dr rebi chavan sir and joint organizing secretary headphone la chalo i know that you have gone through three rigorous sessions so i request dr arvind chavan sir the organizing secretary of this event to express his views on the organization of this webinar dr arvind chavan sir please thank you thank you very much sir thank you for giving me opportunity to express my views being the organizing secretary of this webinar at this moment dear participant delegates the inaugurators resource persons and all the members of this organizing committee of this webinar and the chairperson of this validity function our faculty in charge dr sachin tawde sir convener dr jd kotapalle sir co convener dr sachin tiwde sir joint organizing secretary dr prashant tawde and the person who fully host this event and anchor for the successful of this event mr prashant takis sir dear dear participant uh the one day national e webinar on advance in chemical has hosted successfully by the this department of chemistry and iqc we have invited the different resource person uh who's are eminent in their field and they have uh, delivered the lecture on this uh, topic uh, we have a truthful discussion uh, on the topic given to them dr mahendra lokhande sir who is from the department of chemistry at hira government college for the women's in kerikal pondicherry then we have another resource person uh, dr balaji sidaram sonke sir uh, is a who was working in the department of chemistry at anantra power college of engineering and research in the pune and lastly in the third technical session we have uh, dr rajeshri markandevar madam she is also from the maharashtra uh, and uh, she is working uh, in the department of chemistry at rashtrapita mahatma gandhi acs college saudi district chandrapur she is from the vidarbha and madam has uh i think that she has delivered a nice uh, uh nice lecture on the topic those actually relevant for the personal development for the uh, different students uh and uh, different member so i thought that this webinar uh has enrich the student as well as the faculties in the point of view of uh, the subject uh, chemistry as in chemistry 
as well as for the research in the chemistry and to enlighten how to build our personality uh, by the different resource person. And we have uh, received a huge response from the different participants, around 400 plus uh, participants have been joined in this event. And I'm hoping that such a kind of event, being the organizing secretary, uh, we will be organized in the future to enlighten, to en enrich our student uh, with, uh, in the future. So with this, I conclude my uh, uh, views on the organization of the, this uh, uh, one day national webinar and handed over this session to Mr. Prashant Take and wish all the committee members uh, for the successful of this uh, webinar and hoping with we will be uh, organize such kind of webinar in the future also. Thank you. Thank you very much. Over to you, Prashant Thank you very much, sir. Now, may I request the president of the validatory function, Dr. Sachin Taude, sir, to cast presidential address. Dr. Sachin Taude, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A very good evening to one and all present on this e-platform. I am very much glad to announce that this e-webinar is a great success. All the resource persons have delivered their session very nicely with illust illustrations. The institution is organizing these type of activities for the benefit of students. I appreciate the efforts taken by the Department of Chemistry and IQSC for organization of such a nice e-webinar. On the behalf of the institution, I am thankful to Dr. Mahendra Lokhande, sir, who has delivered his well-prepared talk on application synthesis of zeolites with the basic of TGA and DTA. Dr. Balaji Selukar, sir, has given nice presentation on synthesis, characterization, and applications of biodegradable polymers in uh, their second session. And the third session, which was led by the communicator and trainer, assistant professor in chemistry, Dr. Rajeshri Markandevar, ma'am, who has given a path-breaking speech entitled as Rise and Shine. And ma'am has motivated our students through uh, her lecture. We look forward to carry on this intellectual partnership with the resource persons in future also. I yeah. congratulate my young and dynamic colleagues, Dr. G.D. Kotapale and Dr. Arvind Chavan, sir, for organization of this e-webinar. I am also uh, congratulate the co-convener of this webinar, uh, Mr. Sachin Tiude, sir, Dr. Prashant Taude, sir, the uh, wonderful uh, anchoring by Dr. Prashant Take sir, and all my colleagues who have taken efforts to make this event a grand success. With these few words, I conclude my words. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Hello. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I call upon Dr. Deepak Bhusare, sir, to please propose the vote of thanks. Thank you, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir, yes. Yeah, thank you. The time has come to draw a curtain to our program as we come to the close of it. A very warm, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, 
galaxy of intellectuals, your excellency, invited guests, faculty members, and all the participants from different colleges across India. The today's event, one day e-webinar on the advances in chemical sciences for the better future 2022. For this e-webinar, I would like to thank our inaugurator, Honorable Dr. Madhurao Patil Kinakar Sir, who is the president of uh, Late Digambar of Hindu Smarak Samiti Bokar. Uh, I also thankful to today's chief guest, Dr. A.T. Shinde Sir, who is associate professor, uh, Department of Chemistry, NES Science College, Nanded. Our beloved principal, Dr. Punjab Chauhan Sir, the chief organizer of the event. We are very thankful to our principal, sir. They are always motivating us for, uh, to, uh, for, to organize the such type of uh, uh, webinars and events in the colleges. I also uh, very much thankful to our uh, today's resource person because without uh, you, all of you, sir, and ma'am, uh, this uh, webinar uh, will not be uh, getting on the success mode. So first of all, the first uh, technical sessions, uh, the resource persons, Dr. Mahindra Lokande sir from the Pondicherry. The second resource person, Dr. Balaji Selukar sir from Pune and Dr. Rajeshri Markendewar ma'am from Chandrapur. We are, uh, uh, we are very much thankful to all these resource persons for being with us uh, to uh, success uh, of this uh, webinar. I also thankful to the chairperson, president of this valedictory, uh, valedictory function, Dr. Uh, uh, Sachin Taude, sir, who is a, uh, in charge faculty of science, Digambar of Hindu College, Bokar. I also thankful to convener of uh, this event, uh, of this e-webinar, uh, Dr. G.D. Kotapalli, sir, Department of Chemistry, who uh, has actively uh, at, uh, managing all the things uh, uh, to being a very successful this webinar. And I also thankful to uh, co-convener of this uh, webinar, Mr. Tude Sachin, sir, who is a head department of uh, chemistry. I also thankful to organizing secretary, uh, uh, Dr. Arvind Chavan, sir, IQC coordinator, uh, Digambara Bindu uh, Mahavidyale Bokar. He is al uh, always, uh, always actively invo uh, involved in all the activities those who are doing, uh, those are completing in our colleges and he is a very active, uh, uh, dynamic personality of our college. Uh, I also thankful to uh, Joint Organizing Secretary, uh, Dr. P. D. Uh, Taude, sir, who is Assistant Professor in Department of Chemistry, DB College, Boker. I also thankful to uh, the uh, uh, great anchor of our college, uh, we uh, who are always uh, at contributing uh, his time uh, and your uh, her, his valuable thoughts uh, for all these uh, successful uh, for these events to make it successful, uh, Mr. Uh, Prashant Take sir. I uh, thankful to all the um, uh, college. Um, uh, organizing committee members. And last but not <coughs> least, teachers, my colleagues, students, and uh, all the participants for being with us with this uh, uh, event till completion uh, for, uh, for being <coughs> with this event. I'm so thankful to all the uh, uh, participants that who are directly or indirectly involved uh, in this e-webinar. 
and uh, i conclude here uh, this uh, uh, webinar is uh, over uh, thank you thank you all um, the participants and uh, there is one announcement uh, regarding the feedback form uh, within a half an hour uh, the feedback uh, form link will, uh, will be posted on the whatsapp group so kindly fill the uh, feedback form uh, for the e certificate thank you thank you all the participants for uh, actively being uh, uh, here in this e webinar uh, to make this thank, thank you thank you, thank you. and uh, in future also uh, you will be connected uh, with us thank you to all the resource person uh, for um, uh, giving uh, your time uh, and uh, your wonderful uh, session uh, for the all the uh, students and the teachers also those who are uh, in, involved directly indirectly in this uh, uh, events okay so thank you sir thank you once again and this and is over for thank you thank you thank you sir lokhande sir selukar sir for your valuable time and wonderful lecture hi sir selukar sir Ha. I am also Selukar. Okay, okay. We will Selu be... from Parvani <laughs> district. Selu in Parvani district. Okay, okay, okay. Sir. I am from Latur. Uh, your neighbor. <laughs> Latur. Okay, Latur. Yeah, I am from Latur. Okay, okay. Live stop. Sir, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sir, from Parvani. Right click. YouTube. Right click.